What's your bet on Kanye getting back with Adidas? Mm -hmm. You think that I'll suck some <laughs> Again, son. Again? Nah. If Kanye That's gets back with Adidas, yo. you suck some Not happening, yo. Neither one of those things are happening. <laughs> I'm confident with that bet. Really? You know what your problem is? Yeah. You don't believe in Kanye West too. Yeah, that's I, your yeah, problem. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can't wait when he's back and you're gonna be wrong and you're gonna have to suck some Why would a company that's making $20 billion in revenue risk bringing in one guy that's gonna ostracize so many people away from your brand? Why would you do that? What if, what if uh, football, soccer, fight for them say, you know what, y'all in business don't want nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> what happened <laughs> to football? <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome to Flagler. Today we are joined by Man, really, truly one of the greatest ever talking a microphone. I'll burr, be honest burr, with you. Burr. His generation by far the greatest, but one of the greatest ever. And I, I got to give him some flowers. Really the reason why flagrant exists. Burr, 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 There's burr, no flagrant burr. without this man right here. Oh. You can even go so far as to say my stand-up career oh. would not exist in the way it is without this burr, guy. Burr, 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 burr. We got Charlemagne the God in the motherfucking hey. building. I don't know if all that is true, but I'm gonna take it. Now, I know it makes you feel very uncomfortable for me to compliment you like that. You're used to being making fun of you. That's maybe more your comfort zone That's when we're like. sitting in chaos, okay? Absolutely. So we will get to that. I'm, I'm trying to work through that. I've been working through that in therapy for a while. On getting compliments? Oh, already yeah, therapy. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, that was yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the over under? No, for real. Can we talk about that? Like, why do you want black people to be so anxious? Yeah. Huh? I think it's natural for black people to be anxious. I think at this point, we all live in the United States of anxiety at this point. Ooh. Like I'm surrounded by mass shooters potentially right <laughs> whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why what? would you think we're mass shooters? Whoa, whoa. Yeah. there's two of us, whoa. maybe. Yeah, yeah I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few. There's a few balls around in the corner. Okay, yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, see, he just aimed something at me. Look, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah he got you. You know what I'm saying? No, you should have some anxiety. You should have some anxiety. A little bit. I'm cool though. Okay, good. Listen, it's finally we got you on flagrant, man. I'm happy to be here, man. I tell you, and it makes sense because I go through the airport, I told you this, I go to the airport sometime and the people be like, yo, I love you on flagrant. And I'm like, on flagrant. Yeah. And I don't even correct them. I'm just like, oh, okay. You just gotta you let know? it go. Let it roll, baby. That's, that's great marketing. Now, yeah. uh, listen, Charlotte, I promised uh, Al that I wouldn't make fun of his outfits. Uh, okay. I got anxiety right now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> Why? I know it's coming. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. I, did I say before that I think you look good? You did no, say that. that no. It was you, a hat, a backward you, ass you, I know he's cooking right now. That's not, that's he's just cool, cool, you know? That's that shit just look like something Puffy and Mace used to wear. Yeah. Yes. There we go. That's yeah. not even throws yeah. down. That's Throws all it is. Throws <laughs> okay. Right, cool. That's all it is. Yeah. It's cool. You've officially came out as a Republican. What, how does that how does that been for you? I'm a um I'm a, a re, I'm a I'm a I'm a relibrian. Why women don't listen? Baby, I'm taping. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, I told her I was taping before I started taping. She's okay. right. She's right, though. But um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm nothing, bro. Yeah, I'm sure. not a Republican or a Democrat. <sighs> yeah, that's what Republicans mm -hmm. usually say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know yeah. No, I know I have conservative values. I'm from South Carolina. I'm a black man from the South. I have some conservative values. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like but, what? Yeah, you like the guns. I like guns. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean. Nice. I like capitalism. Nice. You know yeah. what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think capitalism, you know, is is a sustainable model. I think we're seeing that mm. now. But I'm not going to act like I didn't. I haven't enjoyed. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I, I got a lot of conservative. What do you views. think is the most sustainable model? What do you mean? If capitalism's not, communism doesn't seem I to think, be. No, I think it has to be a form of compassionate capitalism. Mm. So, socialism? I don't think socialism per se, not leaning all the way into socialism. Isn't it kind of what we're doing already? Explain. Like, I think we're already kind of a socialist country, but we're so afraid of the term, so we don't call ourselves that. You think so? Yeah, we already we have all these programs to help out like poor people. We yeah. have we're giving money. We we tax people at a pretty high clip. Like you're getting. But see that, a and lot that's the money. problem, right? I wish that you know our tax. I wish we knew where our tax dollars were going. Yeah. If I could look and see exactly where my tax dollars are impacting, you no, we don't. You <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Definitely you're motherfucking pay taxes Ukraine, and it's going right. right to the fucking. And UK. I disagree with that. Ooh, hot take. Why is that a hot take? Well, you don't. You support Russia. I don't support Russia, but I don't support, you know, uh, tens of billions of dollars going to Ukraine. Yeah, while they're you know drinking what I mean? crazy water in Ohio. Exactly. Yeah, when you yeah. see what's going on with the train derailment in Ohio, you see, you know, cities all over America that are fucked up. It's it like, is yo, crazy come that, on, like, bro. Flint has brown water and we're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine. <laughs> and, and, and That's a ballsy thing to do as a president. Yes. Yo. And I think I saw Jill Biden the other day. She was talking about, uh, what country was it? 
I forgot what country she was talking about, but the way she's describing the country, it sounds like any urban city in America. Mm. So it's just like, yo, you want us to be so hell-bent on going to support this other country, but what yeah. about right here in our own backyard? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's something I do agree with uh, conservatives. When conservatives say, put America first. What's yeah. wrong with that? Oh, I better hope they get invaded by Russia. Then they can yo, get some money. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they got a stoke talk. invasion. Facts. Start talking shit to Russia. Yeah. Get over here. Also, we don't know the benefits of that water. I'm assuming it's probably not. Oh, but, the, I was but it could mutate them in a good Bro, way. You might get five more LeBron Jameses. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Seriously, think about that. I don't that. think that's how that works, guys. We don't know. There could have been you, a train derailment in, in you Akron. Love superhero movies. This is like the plot of every superhero movie. Yeah. There's a train derailment. Now we have six I LeBron Jameses. I've heard about countries with bad water. India, Mexico. They're not producing a you lot of LeBron James. You guys have extra arms. You're like two <laughs> years <laughs> away. Mexico <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> has so many arms. But that's that is a, true. That is true. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so imagine you get a basketball. But we don't get the muscle or anything like that. No, but above average intellect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair. We do and get also, above average. I'm stuck on the too many arms person. part. When y'all talking about when y'all say arms, I mean if guns. there's ever a person made with like more than one arm by accident, they're Indian usually. I tend to think it's yeah. just numbers, but I can't prove that. And you got that guy that looks like Groot. Oh yeah, he's a Woody guy. Oh yeah. There's a guy in India that looks like Groot. Oh, you haven't seen it? It's actually really crazy. So Groot is Indian? Yes. Yeah. Vin Diesel took that role from an Indian. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He should be called out. It's Wood. Yeah. You haven't seen this? Look at this, y'all. It's fucking crazy, bro. He's made out of wood? Pretty much. It's How does just, that happen? I don't, what, they don't know. What's the technical term for it's this? It's a form of herpes. Yeah, it was a spell God. from a wood. I mean, man. it's probably the water, to be honest with you. Poor guy's never jacked <laughs> off in his life, it, man. No. Hey, you could jack Can off you imagine that. not being able to jack off, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's and the worst dude. Yeah, I think there's a worse part of this. Like, no, if you do jack off, no. you're a tree yeah. fucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is your dream. You take off right? trees every night. Yeah. Environmentalist, Christ, bro. man. This guy's a full-on environmentalist. I don't think that's real. Now this is real. They did a whole documentary on. They started to like fix them up. I don't and shit. believe him. For real? Nah, I don't believe him. <laughs> what you mean? You don't believe this? How the fuck real. do you fix them up? Well, there's hands under there, I think. Yeah, you see it. You give them, they give them some medicine, and then they start to like shave that shit away. Yo, what and the it was fuck like, condition is that, yo? How y'all don't know? How y'all just looking at the pictures but didn't read it? Thing is happening. While we have you here, you have you have some inside information on our boy Michael B. Jordan and Laura. <laughs> what inside information yeah, do I have? You got have. inside yeah, information, bro. You, no you know Laurel? That's my girl. I love L'Oreal. Okay, L'Oreal. Yeah. L'Oreal, yeah, Okay, yeah. my bad. Yeah. <laughs> What's the inside She's of She's missing a letter for yeah, me to it's pronounce it L'Oreal. Oh, no, it's L-O apostrophe R-E-A-L. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's an apostrophe. Yeah. L-O okay. apostrophe R-E-A-L. Okay. I don't think there's no inside information. I mean, like, you want to know the conversation I had with L'Oreal? Yeah. Yes, please. Um, based about what specifically, though? Okay, so basically just the setup is she's interviewing Michael, Michael B. Jordan, Jordan on the red carpet. That's right. Right? And Michael B. Jordan is looking a little salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. He's confronting a bully. He is confronting, He's confronting yeah. a bully. You see it. Bully. Look at it. Look at him. Do you want to see it? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about this. Look at him. All right, so here we go. Okay. Now, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, Yo, I did not the say that. The highbrow flag. Oh, for sure. Oh, no, you did not yep. hear me say oh, I said we oh, used God. to make fun of the name. Yep. But yeah, he is obviously killing How many head nods, yo? So shall we got See, you. How many yeah. heads? You gotta keep. You gotta keep playing. Well, you gotta fast forward, but you gotta get to what L'Oreal said at the end. Okay, what did she say then? At the end, she said he's not corny anymore. Yeah. So from a from a personality perspective. Well, well thanks for pointing that out, L'Oreal. From a personality perspective, anymore. you can't do that after saying you didn't you call didn't him it. corny. Yeah. yeah. You can't come back at the end and be like, he's not corny anymore. Cause you already said you didn't call him corny. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're yeah. admitting that you did call him corny. But she didn't though. Cause At based first off, she's like, I did not say that. I did not say that. Uh, she really did it. It was it was uh, Dominique the Diva. They were doing a podcast yeah. together. So this Dominique the Diva called him corny. Do you want to hear this? You know what I really think deep down inside? Sorry, I think that me. Michael B. Jordan is just like a nice corny guy. You know it's so crazy. I went to school with Michael B. Jordan. So yeah, she calls him, or the one girl calls him a nice corny guy, and then she yeah. says, "I went to school with him." That was yeah. Dominique but the Diva saying. She also that. said, "Like, oh, we used to make fun of him. What you gonna do with them stupid little hash?" Exactly. Well, as I told L'Oreal, the thing that she has to eat is like that's the that's the problem, right? What you gonna do with them stupid little headshots? Mm. Become one of the biggest superstars in the world. Yeah. yeah. So once that happens, you just gotta take the L on that. One. Yeah, but why is he still tight? So, Everybody's tight over people that got. If you got teased nah. in high school about something and you became you became that something, you want to tell everybody. Here's they're one wrong. thing. Let me. In, I want to know your thoughts. I'm okay. not arguing with you. He was in the wire 
probably shooting by the time he was 14. So yeah, he was yeah. already winning. So he already, I'm on a, I'm on an HBO show. Even if it wasn't popping for a few years, yeah. what am I going to do with little stupid headshots? I'm on an HBO show. I you know really? HBO don't pay for shit if he's still living in Newark. <laughs> it's like, man, you're a child yeah. star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still going to yeah, school. You're in the wire. You're going back to the wire. <laughs> to the wire. <laughs> yeah. He's method. method. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the other big issue here is what, why, what do we define as corny nowadays? You know what I'm saying? Like, why was Michael B. Jordan corny? Because he had a dream and some ambition. I think we're going to embrace corny like we embrace washed. You know how older people are like, I'm washed and I'm yeah, okay with absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's, it's the same way I'm we corny. used to call Drake corny back in the day, and now everybody is on his dick. Back in the day. I'm consistently still calling him corny. <laughs> See, I don't uh, think not, as much, corny. not as much. I don't mean it. You used to call him super soft and all that stuff, and then you got a couple bottles, and then all of a sudden he's all right. No. <laughs> 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 no, 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 well, I did, I loved how he handled that situation yeah. with Meek Mill, so that was the turning point for me being like, yeah. oh, man, I like the way this guy gets <laughs> down. Yeah. I thought Meek was going to be the ruthless motherfucker to come out with two records back to back. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the best way to answer somebody, you say I'm a ghostwriter, all right, we'll get these bars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? On behalf of corny people, we tend to hold on to shit and just... That's yeah. what I'm Drake had that building okay. for years. But okay. what's not corny, though? Like, all this shit that we consider cool, nine times out of ten, was just some criminal shit. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? Like, all it's the motherfuckers... So cool. we, yeah, all the motherfuckers we considered cool in school ended up probably in prison. Because that's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being bad is cool. Yeah. And that's being corny. Being good isn't cool. But that's no, corny. being good is corny, but being corny makes you a millionaire. I like... Listen, I would rather my daughters date the corny guy. Yeah, you know yeah, what no, I mean? No. Okay, yeah. so that's what you're saying. You're saying that the, the description was accurate. He yeah. was corny, and his corniness led him to be a megastar, super Absolutely. successful. He just hasn't accepted that his corny is, is what makes him great. Yeah, all the cool kids was skip, they, skip, skipping, they were skipping class. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cutting they school to go smoke weed. Exactly. They're gangsters right now. So, But well, it, it, what I'm saying is I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing a guy who's, like, really upset. Like, it really bothered him. That this girl called him corny. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah, head yeah. not like a million. Like he was yeah, waiting yeah, for that yeah. moment. He could have yeah. walked right by her. I, I like how Dominique Son, the D would double down. You don't hold a grudge? Son, hey, you I, don't I, hold the grudge? Can I be honest? Only with people that are higher than me. So you, you, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I'm being honest. Let's go. No, no, once, like, he passes I, look, once I pass you, it all just melts away. There are people that were like dicks to me when I started comedy. I told you I, I had a list. Yes, I remember I that. I kept a list for them. And everyone I passed... It, evapu it evaporated. My anger evaporated for them. And I see them and I dap them up. Yeah. People that diss you now, like you've gone back at them. Yeah. That are smaller than you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Rarely, though. <laughs> it's Rarely, though. Son, it's rare. rare. Imagine he was getting bullied <laughs> Two crazy weeks ago. in high school. Oh, that, but that's what that means. That he means those jokes, no, he was, he was those jokes they were doing was yeah. fire. Yeah. Yeah. If you still remember that shit at 33, yo. Those jokes that you was getting hit with in high school Bro, must have been I'm, fire. I've said still... this on the podcast before, but I think I said it. I don't know if I said it, but like, I this made me realize I definitely talked some shit about Michael B. Jordan and forgot I did. Really? Yeah, because I met him the other day. I was having I was having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I was having dinner with with a. Uh, you know, Game of Thrones. Orange is the new black. No, what's no, that shit no. called? Game of, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're doing a movie, and we're just having dinner to meet, whatever like that, and Michael B. Jordan came over to the table, and he went and he shook and I had my hand out for like a good two minutes. He must have shook everybody else's hand at the fucking table <laughs> before he finally came out around to me. And I was like, is he doing this on purpose? Like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck's going on? And then I saw the L'Oreal shit and I was like, oh no, I've said some uh, things. That's, that's why you're like, like this. Listen, listen, that's all why you're like this. If it makes you feel better, the second he gets bigger than Michael B. Jordan, he freaking Michael B. Jordan. Did you see how Dominique the D would double down though? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's posted on her Instagram. Yeah, she posted on her Instagram story. Any black man that dates white women is corny. <laughs> Who said that? The woman that called him corny originally. Yeah. So she doubled down on it, You probably date yeah. black women if y'all didn't call him corny all the yeah, fucking that's, time. That's actually a good-ass point. Like, yeah, I don't even want to tease Michael about that no more. About what, dating white women? Yeah. Why? Because I be joking, but now it seems like that's really you a thing. You not joking. I be joking. You know, you got some umar in you. No, no, no. <laughs> you do have some umar in no, you. No, I do, but I, I, I believe love is love. You know what I'm saying? But what? he was just dating Lori oh, Harvey. Honest. What? Be honest. You know what I mean? We're here. Oh, no, no. Be I believe black men should be with black women. That's a fact. I am, I am, I am <laughs> exactly. with that. You know and what I mean? And then when they're not. When they're not, they're not. 
You know what I mean? What does that mean? About, like, what do you mean by it? Because it, depends, I don't it think, depends. I don't depends. think Michael B. If, Jordan's corny. If you're a pro, no, I don't think Michael B. Jordan's corny, but if you're one of these pro black people, like you wake up in the morning and you can't wait to, you know. To be black. To yeah. be black, like you yeah. getting at everybody, you <laughs> attacking yeah, 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 racism. Yeah, yeah. Like, but then you go in the street. Yeah, 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 but but then you got a white spouse, a white significant other. It's like, come on, bro. That's my least favorite. Come on, sisters. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's what I. That's what, what about. What about black women to date white dudes? Same thing. Same. But Especially if you're super pro black. Yeah. If you're super pro black about it, it's like. You know why they're. What about the black love is revolutionary. What about bro. AOC? What about AOC? <laughs> what is it? AOC not. What is she? Afro. She's Afro Latino. What about her? She's dating the least black person possible. Yeah. Really? She's dating a ginger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. I didn't no, know that. No. no. You didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. 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 No idea. Yes, bro. Really? Yes. That you know why? That bother me for some reason. Why? I don't know. That don't bother Do me. politicians like transcend race a little if bit? If Ayanna Presley was doing that, I might be like, ah, oh, come on, Ayanna. Mm. But Wait, who's Ayanna Presley? Ayanna's the, uh, another member of the squad. Oh, she yeah, yeah. But she got a brother. She got a brother, but I met her husband. Yeah, that don't bother me seeing AOC with a ginger. You know why I think they're so militant is they're insecure about the fact that they're attracted to this other race and they might get mocked come for on, it. So man. They mm, come on, man. Come on, man. But they don't come overcompensate man. by dating them. Come on, man. Yeah, but they're not going to go through that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, too much. Yeah, that's too much. Come on, man. But I think a thing a lot of people don't, don't talk about is, like, there's a lot of black dudes that would like to date black women, but black women aren't into them. And so that, they're relegated to dating outside their race. I, I and then they get shit on for dating I, outside their race. I think that's a misconception. I think that, you know, there's plenty of black women that want to date black men, but everybody has all of these, like, you know, standards and these 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 rules of engagement that don't even necessarily make sense. Like it's all of these things that keep us from actually, you know, bonding with each other. Like what you just said is one of those things. What like, I said. like you said, uh, black women are, are what do you say? Black women want to date black men, but they don't. For what do you say? What reason was that? Black men. Are black men want to date black women? There are black dudes that want to date black women, but black yeah. women are like, nah, these dudes, this dude's corny. I don't want to date him. And then a white girl might. So he's like, okay, I got. And that could go. be Michael B. Jordan. Go where you celebrated, not where you tolerated. Yeah. Yeah. Two black women calling Michael B. Jordan corny. But that's their. Whoa. That's, that's their Whoa, opinion. Whoa, Al. Think about that. <laughs> and by the way, context matters, right? Yeah. Because L'Oreal's talking about high school. That's a difference. But those you know are formative I mean? years, man. Those All of us were corny years. in high school yeah, in some but, way, shape, or form. They, they might have thought he was cornier because he's in. he lives in Newark and then he's acting as a drug dealer. And it's like, bro, there's plenty of real drug dealers here. And you, <laughs> you go on a fucking yeah. set to be one. Yeah. Now, Dominique the, Dominique the Diva, her point of saying, you know, any black man that dates white women is corny. That's talking about Michael now. L'Oreal is talking about Michael from back then. I think that's the difference. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that needs context. I guess yeah. what I'm saying to defend him is don't you think in formative years, if the black women you grew up with are calling you corny, it could push you to be an attractive? Because now you're on set, there's white girls everywhere, you're on meetings in LA, you're on Beverly you got, Hills, 902. You gotta think about where you at, you in Newark. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out of Newark, you'll probably find some black women that appreciate the corny. In Newark, you don't want no corny, especially back then. Yeah, corny you, gets who killed. Exactly. You want what you think is cool. Your back food. then, it probably was the drug dealer, the shooter, the gang member back back then. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he comes across as a hero for like a lot of people after this. Like all the kids oh, that yeah. get Absolutely. bullied, like all the young kids oh, now yeah. that are getting bullied in high Absolutely. school. And girls are like Absolutely. the incel types. They're looking at this and they're like, that's And the me. dreamers. Yeah. yeah. The God, dreamers. Everybody wants them. I think you look a little too angry about it. Nah, so nah, just laugh it, at it. Nah, Who cares? Nah, nah, I told L'Oreal. It's still bothering him. And the crazy part is L'Oreal is known as the bully, right? Yeah. If, right? If he, yeah. That's a problem. Yo, that's, that's a if bar. she called him corny right there to his face, he would have punched her in the mouth. No. I think he would have. Well, that would have worked for her. <laughs> no, that would work for her. What way? That's the only way to win in that situation. He would have to jump out the window and hit her. Uh, now, any other any other way this played out, she's the bully in this situation. Yeah. So in order to be a victim, she would have to really be a victim. She, she would have to yeah. do something uh, like that to her. There's no, and I told her that there's no way for you to win this. Yeah. Like this is every dreamer's dream, yeah. right? Like like the person who used to shit on you, yeah. told you that you wasn't gonna be shit, laughed at you walking around mm. with your headshots. Now on the precipice of me having my First movie that I directed and star in, yeah, I get to slap. see you on the red carpet of my shit yeah. and check you? Whoa. So you tell me, not, oh. you're not saying nothing to come that on, man. person, bro. Come on, I think man. he'd be funny. Come on, man. It. Come on, man. You eyeing that motherfucker. That's why I don't understand come LeBron on, James and Skip Bayless. He's a liar, I'm shocked, bro. Yo, I'm he's shocked LeBron James has never spiked the ball on Skip Bayless, yo. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. When would he be yeah. able to? 
What you mean? The, time, the times he's won championships, the time he's broke the scoring record, he's still considered, you know, the number two greatest player of all time. Like, now's the time to pop your shit don't if you're going to pop your shit. Don't give them the glory. Uh, yeah, don't give me attention. You don't think so? That's no, it drives Skip's for. crazy. It drives him fucking crazy, the fact that LeBron won't even mention yeah, that, that's him. That's what even, he should even, do, but it feels good to even do. Even when Skip's it talking about you. It good, but that shows the emotional security of LeBron. Like, it's really impressive LeBron yeah, doesn't do that. What I'm saying is I'd like to see Michael B do but this we know, right But here. we know LeBron don't really have it. Exactly. Yo, I, all I'm saying, wait, LeBron doesn't have it? Bro, we saw LeBron about to fight somebody because they were teasing him about his hairline as he was walking off the court. that motherfucker was right there, bro. You got yeah. your wife and in the crowd, insecure. you got your side chick. Like, there's a lot of people Yo, there that, that, that could be embarrassed in front of you. <laughs> yeah. It might be the hairline He's shit. insecure about his hairline. He's not insecure about his basketball ability. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very insecure. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. actually a great point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're yeah. tapping yeah. into the thing that he's insecure about. Yeah. That's where you're going to react. Yeah. And also, yeah. LeBron's patient, I guarantee, when he goes to retire, he'll say some shit. Because think about it. When yeah. he uh, broke that's the scoring record, he dropped the F-bomb live while they were talking. I mean, no. Which F-bomb? He, he that matters. He, call, he yeah. calls Skip an yeah. F-bomb, dude. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. nah, but he said fuck while he was like... Oh, um, fuck. Yeah. Oh, come yeah, on, that's yeah, not the bomb. Yeah, but he, but that ain't the new He's guy. been so clean all these years, he's fuck like, oh, a I'm a job one tonight. We know what the yeah. nuke yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. We know what the nuke yeah, is. Yeah, you gotta drop the nuke like when we're describing your outfit. I knew I had to get one out. I know, I know. It looks good, bro. It looks good. I'm not, Yo, you know. Actual Michael nah, B. Jordan like question. Is it kind of so. weird that he still did the interview? Like, if he just dunked on her or walked off, I'd have thought it was funny or whatever. But the fact that he still stayed and answered, like, four questions legitimately after that. I respect I like, that. It shows he's a professional. Yeah. yeah, I respect he won, that. You won already. Yeah. You won already. And that's why said, at the end, L'Oreal should not have said, but you're not corny anymore. Like, don't even acknowledge. You just, you said you didn't call him corny. So don't even go back to that making it seem like you did. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what just seems a little strange. Yeah. That's all. I think she just panicked. You think so? She got confronted by this guy. She's talking about it on a podcast. You get confronted all of a sudden yeah. on the red carpet interviewing him at his event. You lost. But You're you gotta be, you trouble. gotta be prepared for that moment. Like if I'm yeah. like, like I think she knew, okay, I'm going to I'm doing the red carpet at Creed 3. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan's probably gonna walk this red carpet. Phenomenal movie, by the way. I don't know if you've seen it. I'm excited to see it. it. No, that shit is but really good. Excited oh, to see I, it. I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And the oh. directing is top notch. And he directed it. He's a talented oh, guy. Cool. No, nah, the shit is really I, I enjoyed it. It's unrealistic. If you're a boxing guy, why, why, you know what why, I mean? Why, 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 why? Most of them. I don't want. I'll give. If I tell you, I'll give it all away. So I don't want to say. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, tell me, <laughs> tell me why. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to give it away. I, if I tell you, it's literally giving the movie away. So the unrealistic part is the end. No, like the middle. It's not like Rockies were ever realistic. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. They never were. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. Creed 2, Andrew pointed out, like, Rocky's like, you got to box the guy that's stronger than you and quicker than you. And Andrew's like, no boxer would ever tell you to get in there yeah. with a guy but, yeah. who's got longer reach, You don't want it to be realistic. No, not box. You got to get inside. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to box the guy who's stronger than you. Well, Rocky would yeah. tell you that. Yeah, because Rocky's an idiot. Rocky never did any defense whatsoever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like We're going to look back on Rocky and be like, he had Down syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guy with Down yeah. syndrome fights. Rocky's Six actually times. the least most important person of all the Rocky movies. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Absolutely. Not the least. Apollo Creed is the most important person to every great Rocky movie. Bro, you're black, Yeah, bro. Dr. Umar, let's <laughs> go, That's what I'm let's talking go. about, bro. But it's a black fact. pride. It's a fact. The first four Rocky movies, and I got this new Invisalign in, so pardon me if I'm spitting all over you, but the first four <laughs> Rocky movies <laughs> yeah. are literally centered around Apollo Creed. Every single one. Rocky fighting Apollo Creed at the end of the movie sets Rocky up to... But then can't you say that about any antagonist? No, it's different, right? The first Rocky movie, they fight at the end of the movie. It's a draw. Rocky gets to fight again for the championship in Rocky II. So both of those, the central figure is Apollo. Third movie, fucking Club of Lane comes. Mm. Rocky's rich. He loses all his mojo, gets his ass whipped by Club of Lane. Who motivates him and gets him back in the motherfucking Apollo, shape? Apollo Creed, right? Yeah. And Apollo only did that for his own benefit. Because Apollo wanted to build him back up so he could fight him at the end of the goddamn movie, which they never show you who, who won, but they tell you later on in the Creed movies. Then, in Rocky IV, what happens? Apollo gets fucking killed by the Russian. Mm. So now Rocky has motivation to go to Russia and fight Rocky. After that, the Rocky movies fell the fuck off. Damn. Why are they able to make a Creed? Because Apollo. Creed, yeah. Apollo is the central figure of all fucking Rocky movies, So Apollo movies, might not be that's, the central figure, theory. but he drives everything. He's the, he's the, he's the, I don't even know the word. He's the main catalyst for all those he's the films. Catalyst. You it's can't good, make good any of those films without yeah. Apollo Creed. Do you think Rocky's the most progressive movie maybe ever for its time? Uh, it was why? a movie because, made in the 70s yeah. with a dumb, white, poor boxer yeah. and a super eloquent, classy black champ who's like 
give him the, hey, let's give this guy a break. I know how to sell the fight. Yeah, He's yeah, like a yeah. marketing genius, yeah. super well put together. Ooh. Yeah, my bad. I'd be wondering how fire Adrian Pum Pum was, right? Because think about it, right? I think it's mm. she the wasn't, only Pum Pum for She him. was a decent looking woman, right? I said, that's what I think. I think Rocky was a virgin. Yeah. I think they never explored that in the movies. I think that was his first piece of Pum Pum when he fell in love with her. I know virgins. Wow. You, that guy was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I know virgins. That's what I'm saying, yo. That motherfucker like, was a virgin. I thought he was fighting dudes because he was so sexually secure. I thought that was the whole point of the movie, right? Because Adrian didn't even, Adrian wasn't even a good support system, if we're being honest. Whoa. Adrian doubted Rocky a lot, bro. <laughs> Adrian literally told his motherfucker, you cannot win. Yeah. In regards to the Russian. Sorry, she wants to save his life, Charlamagne. God damn. Yeah. This guy already killed somebody. So? That's Believe his, in me. That's his L'Oreal, bro. He just needs that negative energy. <laughs> and then he can come back. <laughs> oh, really? Yo, Michael Balboa yeah. Jordan is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that's a for us, bro, Michael man. Balboa Jordan is fucking hysterical. His name is Michael yo. Jordan and you're in high school. You're not going to get some jokes? <laughs> that's why that B is so important. Yeah, it is. That yeah. B is so fucking important. What does yo? that stand for? I really don't know what the B stands for. Mm. Michael B. Loving White Women Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Guys, he can remember this. What is it? He's going to remember I, this. I love Michael. You, you know don't get no credit for Lori Harvey? Bakari. Wow. Oh, oh it's Bakari? I think Man. people wow. have super well. Yeah. Oh, wow. What do you mean, the the, the Lori the, Harvey thing? Like, he dated Lori Harvey. She's a, a black girl. Like, the validity no, of that relationship, no, 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 I think. No, no, Lori Harvey dated Michael B. Jordan. Wow. Yeah, What's some fucking that's respect that's on her name? Wow. Yeah, regardless. What's some respect saying, on wow. her name, yo? <laughs> Lori Harvey is having her weight. Okay? <laughs> I mean, uh, All right? I, I, Lori I, Harvey does what the fuck she wants, how bro. How does feel about that? I have no idea. Do you think idea. he wrote that book for his daughter? Act like a lady. <laughs> Act like a fucking man. Don't kiss so somebody for the first 500 days. What was it? Act like a lady? Yeah, all these rules. Don't act like a man, think like a lady? Think, what was yeah, it? Think like a man, act like a lady, yeah, or act yeah, like a lady, yeah. think like a man. That's what it is? Yeah. yeah. Whatever the fuck it was, she read that book to a T. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. she's been having her way yeah. with these. Wait till Lori Harvey relationship book come out, bro. Ooh. What would they call it? Act like a lady, think like a man. Oh, wow. I thought that was Caitlyn Jenner's book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. By the way, by the way, I think Caitlyn might be the only one you can really get those off of. Because she don't give a fuck. No, because nobody gives a fuck about Caitlyn. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's so antagonistic. She's, a, she's a Trump. Herself. She's like a Trump yeah, person. That's what yeah. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah, gay yeah, people yeah. don't exist. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she said that? I mean, she was kind of anti-gay marriage. Or she was against or gay like marriage. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. She says, I'm attracted to women, but I'm not gay. And it's like, well, then how oh, are you a woman God. attracted to women, not yeah. gay? She just constantly undermined herself. I remember people got mad at me because I said she was a lesbian. This was like when it first happened and she did that interview. Remember that interview she yeah. did when she when she first came out? Yeah. And I was like, oh, so she's still attracted to women, so she's a lesbian. And they got mad, people got mad at me. You got mad at me for recognizing her for what yeah, she it's is? Weird. Yeah. Why would like, they be mad at you? I have no idea. You, you were in the future. You were too avant garde for them. I yeah. guess. I mean, she is a lesbian. And the most ideal version of a lesbian when you think about it. Break it down. Well, mm. the only issue with a lesbian relationship is there's nothing to penetrate. Yeah, you got a you got a suction. Right? Only what happened now? Lesbian relationship is just too There's no dick. Yeah, yeah there's you just, gotta buy a strap on. You need penetration oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, they can okay. feel okay. something. Yeah, yeah, okay. And she can penetrate. The other lesbian feels it. She feels it. But that, would, that make you not a lesbian, though. Well, no. It's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Your whoa, body whoa, parts whoa, whoa. don't define you as a man or a woman, Charlamagne. Come on, Charlamagne. It's how you feel inside. So what happens? So if I put a penis inside a vagina, what is that called? That's just called sex. Yeah, that's a lesbian sex. Yeah, that's a bunch of lesbos <laughs> lesbian going at it. Oh, that man. is gay sex. <laughs> no, that is super You're just gay. Having gay sex. You put a dick inside a vagina, bro. Gay. Yeah, that's super gay. <laughs> hey, yo, dude, that is wild, bro. bro you're relax, still doing that? dude. Relax, bro, that is so crazy. man. Y'all don't put dicks in vaginas. A lady's dick in a vagina is lesbian sex, yeah, bro. It's a bunch of bows yeah. out there. Yeah, and we don't believe in that here. Yeah. Yeah. Lady, meat. lady meat is crazy. Say again? Yeah, lady, lady meat, meat is crazy. Nah, lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. What tastes better, lady meat or Beyond Burger? Well, they call it impossible. <laughs> Lady meat is wild. No, the bro. Beyond Beef. You, if you put the Beyond Beef in your lesbian, <laughs> if you put the Beyond Beef in your lesbian girl, that is lesbian sex, and we have to respect that. Yeah. Simple as that. I don't think we're saying anything provocative right now. Nope. I don't think so either. I don't yeah. know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> yeah. I don't either. I don't either. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what? You can handle Burning Man, bro. Yeah. That's why. No, no, we need, we need to get you to Burning oh, Man. Why you want Burning Man? What, pardon me? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're gonna, oh, you're Burning gonna, Man. You're going to yeah. come burning to Burning Man. Man, bro. They're, they're burning. Man. Man. <laughs> I like showering, bro. 
You can shower. Oh, well, yeah, you can shower. Oh, I thought y'all be out there not showering. No, there's shower. bougier ways to do it. it. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. do it more bougie. Y'all be doing do like whole baths street. and shit, like under the arms and the nuts and the ass. No, you go shower. We got want to shower. Bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The trailer. Yeah, yeah. We were good. Oh, yeah, I'm with that. If, like if you can glamping. shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glamping. It's not it's what? Like glamping. What is that? Glamorous camping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I woods. thought that was that shit he doing his fingernails. <laughs> 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 that shit he doing his fingernails sound like oh, glamping, God. bro. Don't it look like it look like you would call that glamping? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Look at it. Yeah. I think. Listen, Al is going through something. <laughs> listen, this is, this is a good thing. This yes. is, I'm yeah. supportive of this. You know when he got like this? I'm very Burning secure man. with myself. Burning, Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man did change me. Yeah. Absolutely. What was it? Yeah. The DMT, the ayahuasca. What was it? Uh, ketamine. Nice. Ketamine. Yeah, that shit is nice. Really? Yeah, but what just for out do? there, though. It's a, is it like a hallucinogenic? Nah, nah. you just you feel like floaty and it's shit. It's disassociative. Yeah, he just separates you from the world a little yeah. bit. Gotcha, gotcha, you gotcha, probably gotcha. like ketamine, to yeah. be honest with you. Eh, I want to do ayahuasca, bro. I'm going for it. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. doing that this year? I'm doing I it. I don't think you're going to do it. I'm being honest. I'm yeah, doing it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm interested in that. You have so much anxiety, you are not doing that shit. I haven't tried it. I'm interested in that and shrooms. DMT only lasts 20 minutes. I know, but I heard it's a crazy three minutes. That's kind of better. Three minutes. You're not gonna be able to take it seriously because you know they do a whole ceremony, right? Yeah, yeah, ayahuasca yeah, yeah. doesn't oh, last no. three minutes. DMT lasts. Yeah, DMT lasts three minutes. Ayahuasca is you're there. So six, seven hours. You're throwing yeah. up the whole thing. Yeah. I don't think you'll do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing. It. I punked out on shrooms when I was gonna do shrooms in Mexico. They had a whole ceremony and everything. And I, at the last minute, I was like, eh. Really? Why? Yeah. I just got scared. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't and you don't think you're gonna? And scared? it was the environment we was in because Cabo was like. Cabo's cool, but the place we were at in Cabo was more like, it was like a resort type of thing. Yeah. And I didn't feel like that would be a nice place to have yeah, a shroom yeah. trip. You know what I mean? I want to be in nature, nature. Yeah. You're scared of what? You're going to like find something in your head? Nah, that's what I want. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'm looking for that. But I just didn't want to do it there. It just felt too resorty. Yeah, it felt too yeah, artificial. You yeah. want like an authentic yeah. experience. But yeah. the thing is that with the ayahuasca shit is like if you're really in the jungle, like the anxiety might start acting up. Like there's animals out but there. But that's why they have shamans and shit. Yeah, but a shaman ain't from a the poacher. Lions? Why would we be in the jungle? Because that's where they <laughs> do it. In the woods, you can go no, no, upstate. No, you, yeah, you can go in the There's... desert and shit. Like you can go to Arizona. You can go to fucking uh, Joshua's Tree. It's a lot and of places. You can find do it ayahuasca, there, but it's not. Huh? Where it's that's from. a gentrified ayahuasca. You think so? You think we should go to the source? Like go to the yeah, do it. Like go to South America. Yeah. 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 If yeah, you want to yeah, do it, yeah, do it. Yeah, 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 or you could do it with the guy that connects you with. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been talking. That's not different ones. That's how I know about Arizona and all that shit because of him. Yeah. Yeah. Shaman Omar. Yeah. Shouts to Shaman Omar. Yeah. Yeah. What is he? Hey, he's this is Afghan. Important. Okay. I think he's from Afghanistan. Okay. And then maybe one other place. So how does he... I got. I want to know how he's qualified to be a shaman of ayahuasca. He just does a lot of yeah, ayahuasca. Do it all oh, but time. he went down there. Like, he, like, lived in the fucking jungle in the got Amazon you. with them and, like, got learned you. all the things and plays that crazy instrument, like, it's like didgeridoo or something. Listen, some nice guy. I've been talking to him. That's what I'm going to... When I do it, that's what I'm going to do it. Yeah. Absolutely. I think you'll access something. I cannot wait. What are you looking for? You're, like, searching he's for something. He's going to dress like Alex when he gets back. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. This is the evolution of you. What are you looking for here? I've always felt like I'm moving in and out of dimensions anyway. Yeah. Like, I've always felt like that. Even sober or, you know, even through dreams and stuff like that. Like, I've always felt like I was tapped into, you know, something else that other people didn't see. So I want to, like, really really confront that. And there's something you feel like you have to confront. Um cuz you've been going through this transformative experience the last few years. Yeah, I think you I know. just want to I think I just want to confront that part. I want to confront that other dimension, that other worldly thing that, you know, that you see but you don't know if you're really seeing it. You know what Sorry, I mean? Like the time I mean, Can I just tell you from the outside? Uh-huh. It feels like you realize recently that your whole life you were running from something. No. Well, let me yeah. let me just get it out. You tell me. Okay. You, you're running for something or distracting yourself from something or, you know, finding ways to cope with a thing that's there. And then it feels like the last few years you're going, I want to confront this thing. I want to no, know I, everything I, about it. I feel like I've always ran to it. I want to I want to know if all of those things I've seen throughout my life are actually legitimate. Like the times I've woken up and felt like something was standing over me, you know what I mean? Or the times I've been laying in my room and like this 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 figure that just looks like a bolt of energy came in and was dancing or you know what I mean? Like the time I felt like I've seen flying saucers. I want to see if all of that is like Really connected you to break, something. Break connected down the flying something. saucer story. Oh, I was in third grade. Third grade. Uh, this is back in the day when uh, the school bus used to drop you off, and you had to wait till like a parent would come home or like your grandma. So I'd be waiting on my grandma at my grandma's house, yeah. and I literally saw the black flying saucer just hovering over the trees. 
And it, and I just stared at it for a while, then it just shot off. And what it looked like? Like the flying sauces the you would typical actually, kind typical, that you see. basic black flying saucer you would see in every mm. fucking. Had you seen alien movies before? By third grade, no, I wasn't into aliens yet. So not you didn't even grade. know what it was until you saw it later. Uh -uh, not till later, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're yeah. like, oh shit, yeah. that flying saucer. Yeah. Like I've seen it, a flying saucer before. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. You ever heard the story with those Australian kids? Third grade, I was Judy Bloom, bro. That, that's what I was into. I was <laughs> yeah. into all Judy Bloom, Beverly Clearly shit. I hadn't gotten to like the supernatural and ghost and UFOs yeah. and all that so stuff. So what'd you think it was? I didn't know what it was. To me, it was just like seeing a helicopter or a plane in the sky, it was just this thing floating over the trees. Like, I wasn't scared or nothing. And so when was the first time that you realized that it was, uh, it could have been a UFO? Later on, maybe a couple years later when I started reading about UFOs or maybe seeing, like, flying saucer shit on television. I'm like, oh, I've seen one of those before. Did it click, like... Or, or, or even before that, like, I, and I, I used to have this red tractor, right? Like, I used to have this yeah, yeah. red... Hard plastic tractor. This is a toy. With, a toy with this like farmer a on top of okay. it. The farmer used to get off and like fuck with me. Like when I was by myself, the farmer would get off the red tractor and like talk to me and shit. And yeah. I used to tell my mom and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, you know, we used to have to burn trash like in the yard. So I took the red plastic tractor and threw it on the fire. And the guy was screaming. Whoa. He couldn't get off the tractor then? <laughs> yeah, why did, why did he That's get a good off? point. Actually. If there's a good point, if there's a good time to get off the track. He's going down with the ship? Is that what's happening? He was burning. He was on fire. Right. right. He, he was going to get off the tractor. Yeah. He was just screaming. He was melting. It was plastic. Stop, he he a white farmer? Nothing. I'm sure he was. Hey, Jesus. I mean, he was red. Jesus, I mean, what the fuck? Jesus. Bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tractor, yeah. white the tractor was hey, red, you but I'm just going to assume that like, he's probably in the figure of a white person. Come on, bro. You gotta get did that you get share back, this with anybody at the time? I wrote about it in my first book. Oh, yeah, I did. I used yeah, to tell my mom now. all the time. Yes. And then what would my mom think? is probably the only person who can like vouch for all of these stories because I was saying them in the moment. You know what I mean? No, no. But what did they think when you were just being a crazy person? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're being insane. Yeah, yeah. You have a figure. That I don't. You I say really is, don't know. They never said anything to me personally. What would it do when it got off the tractor? It would just like talk to me. Back like, in the day, y'all used to do all this work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, racist. Now they got me on this fucking tractor. Nah, it would just Make talk. America great. It would just, he, he had a more Asian accent. No. 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 Just fucking with it. It. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rice farmer. <laughs> He's a rice farmer. <laughs> but now he would just talk to me. You right. know what I mean? And the, the only other person I heard have an experience like that was Tiffany Haddish. She said her toys used to talk to her. When she was young. And you don't think mm. you just had a wild imagination as a child? I don't, but that's my point. I don't know. So that's so what, what you're trying to figure out. That's yeah. what I want to see. I want to, I want to see. And I've always felt like uh, I've always felt like I had some type of uh, a, a bewitching air. What does that mean? Meaning that like I can say that's gonna happen mm. and it'll happen. Like, or this is gonna happen to that individual and that is gonna happen. I just always felt can like that. Can you give an example? No. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, I can't in my life. I don't want to say it about nobody else. No, but in your life, yeah. that'd be great. I've called it. I've called, like, I've called, I've called 90% of everything that's happened. Maybe not to the T, you know right. what I mean? But for the most part, like, it's been all accurate. Can you, you know sense, I mean? like, energies? You meet someone, 100%. Like, oh. it's, it's all, everything I do is all energy. Like, oh, really? literally, like, it's all energy. When I meet people, I don't, I'm not even seeing y'all. I'm seeing and feeling, I'm feeling energy. And that mm -hmm. lets me know, like, oh, okay, I want to do this with that person, or, or that person should be over here, or, or I should be over there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel, like, I feel it. A lot of a lot of times, so I just want to tap into that in a real way. What is something that you predicted in your life that wouldn't be obvious? Something I predicted in my life. I mean, I don't think nothing in my life has been obvious. Could you could you predict in a million years a kid from a dirt road in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, with a population of six, seven thousand, thirteen thousand five hundred sixty-eight as of today? Like 10,500. But, like, I would you, could, up, you, could you predict that, like, that person would end up being, I guess, a prominent voice in a city like New York and then nationally syndicated all across the country? I think that there's a lot of people you might place that bet on. I don't know if it would be yeah. me. Seems unlikely. You know what the I'm saying? The odds are, are low of it happening. That's my, I, yeah. I, I'm saying more specific things because I remember once you refused to get on a, fl uh, on a flight because you had a bad feeling Absolutely. about that flight. Absolutely. Now that flight Absolutely. flew into flew into the Twin Towers. No. No, that's not what happened. Wait, what? Oh. I didn't fly until after the Twin Towers. But <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> Why would he say that? I'm I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm way better 
wait, wait, wait. It is a better did, story. Did I, did I mess that up? Because yes, you messed wait, it up. Wait, so what happened to that flight? Nothing that I know of, but if I had got but on it. If you were on it, if I had got it on might have it, changed it. Yeah, you would have stopped it. <laughs> if I had really? got on that flight, I was supposed to fly. I was with you until this story. Know, right? No, this hold is, on. This is, this is where But here's the thing. I don't know. I, I, listen, I don't have those feelings too often. So if I'm sitting at the airport mm -hmm. and it was a bad snowstorm, we were supposed to go to L.A. It was a bad snowstorm. When I say every single a airline. A bad snowstorm. Yes. Okay. In New York, okay. if every single well, airline I that was a is Michael canceled, B. party. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if there, if there, if no, every single you, flight is canceled, I can't wait. Go if first. every single Love flight you, is canceled, why would I be so lucky that mm. mine is going out? Uh, you know what I mean? And I had a panic attack in that moment. I'm like, yo, I'm not going. I was supposed to go. The, uh, go to Mac Miller's house to film with Mac Miller because that's you know that's when MTV2 was doing all of the cross promotion that's with right. everything we were doing and the, the and I think I went to his house. I think you might have been you, yeah because I was already he was in already LA. out there yeah I think it was Holy you and Nessa shit no no I it just went, Nessa? Nessa and I were out there doing something then they just asked me to go to his house and I did something yeah. for MTV2 because he had his show coming on yep. on MTV yep. wow. I mean nothing nothing happened to the plane that I know of mm. right. I just know I wasn't supposed to be on that plane wow I don't know why uh, something else could have happened to you in LA. Maybe, maybe. Wow. But I'm, I'm, I, that's the type of stuff I listen to. You know what I mean? I have now, no problem. How do you make sure? Because I think this also also happens with me. Like the more success you get, the more you feel like you have to lose, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. more anxious you get about losing those things. Yeah. Right. So you get really successful. You go, Do I really need to go skydiving? Mm. Do I really need to? Do I really need to go fast in this car? Do I really need to jump off this this bridge? You Everything know, like, you name, you do not have to do. You don't, but when you <laughs> yeah. have nothing to lose, yeah. you're like, I might as well do this shit. This yeah. is yeah, 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 yeah. Those things are awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. White yeah, people. yeah, yeah. But like, but what I'm saying is, 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 how do you make sure that these aren't, these aren't like, this isn't your intuition popping up, or your anxiety, or you rather you just your anxiety and you not wanting to lose all these amazing things that you have going. on I mean, on that's in your a life. great, that's a great question. Because um, that was my thought about the flight. It's just fear, yeah, probably logical fear. But I've never had that. Right. So imagine you've never had that. Like, imagine you've been jumping on. We've been, we've been to L.A. a million times. We've been all over the world. Like, so imagine that one time you're like, oh, hell no. I'd be a fool not to listen to that. You know what I mean? And if I lose something in that process, cool. I'd rather listen to what I feel is my intuition. That makes sense. Yeah, and not my anxiety. I think as you got more success successful, uh, you have yeah, more to lose. still fucked it up. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Successful. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think you have more to lose. And so that's why the fear is growing now. The biggest thing I'm ever afraid of losing is my life. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about my actual physical... No, no, I, I agree with you ...existence. Like, everything else, I, it's like whatever, because you yeah, can't control you any of that. but you have more to live for now. You have your daughters, you have your wife. Like, you're going to leave them behind. So before, you didn't have any fear because it was there just was you. No, no, I, I did. I never wanted to die. I never, I, yeah, never, I never bought into that shit. I, that I, whole ready to die, you only live once, no, no, you know, no, no, live no. fast, die young. No, I no, never bought no, into no, that. No, but you were doing stuff that out. could have got you killed. You were selling drugs. You were, do, you were doing bad shit. Well, like, that, no, that's so interesting that he says that because actually those are more survival methods, right? Because the reason those are survival methods because I felt like if I didn't get accepted by that crowd that I was running with, mm. then I'm isolated and you got more of a chance of something bad happening to you if you're isolated, you oh, know what I mean? So you're more so just wanting to be down with this crew or whatever because you feel a sense of protection. Uh, you know what I mean? So that, that's more survival yeah, to stay alive, too. That actually I reminds me of something. I read in your book where you talked about, the first book where you talked about how you was like, as a boy, you just said some guy on TV was cute or something, and then your dad was like, yo... That, that has nothing to do with it. No, no, no. Here's what I'm asking: How, how, different, how different would your life be if you <laughs> he had that one locked? And locked I know, right? Right? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find a way to get this fucking question in here. Like, I'm not gonna do know what we're talking about. Know. This Wait. reminds me. Yeah, this reminds me. You were this. gay when you were a kid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Kellen, what the fuck does it remind you of, bro? Because he said he was running with a bad crowd, and then that was the moment where your whole thing, your dad was like, "Yo, no, I, I get what toughen this saying. kid up." Yeah, yeah, I actually read the book. So I get what Kasha's saying. <laughs> your but, but, dad was like, "Toughen this kid up," and that's when you started going down that fucked path. But no, it goes it, that, but that also goes back to wanting to be accepted. Because when I made that comment, I was with all of my so women cousins. I was with my sister and my two women cousins, and they're looking at BBD on TV and they're like, oh, Ricky's the cute one and Ronnie's the cute one and Michael's the cute one. I'm like, hey, Michael's the cute one. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, we grew up in the 1900s and 80s, baby. Everybody yeah. was homophobic back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. I said that, the alarm rang. Mm -hmm. Daddy! Really? <laughs> Not in here 
this ain't been a cute. Yeah. And, you know, Christmas was canceled. I mean, even though we were Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't mean that literally. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, mean, yeah. Meaning like that, that he was on the phone, and I remember because the phone was stretched from the living room all the way to the kitchen, <laughs> and that cord just got shorter and shorter oh, and shorter. Yeah. He's like, hold on, let me call you back. What happened? They told him what happened. He snatched me up, and he threw me in the yard, and my two cousins, like, literally treated me like I was a football. Like, they played football, but I was the football. So they would toss me to them and then tackle each other. <laughs> Damn, straight up. Wow. Absolutely. And so that's how you make people straight. Yeah, that's a weird way. If someone was yeah, gay, is that, that, that's how you would convert. But is that the conversion? Just jumping on the ground with a bunch of That seems like nah, that's nah, what nah, they yeah. would want. Football, yeah. We don't talk about how gay football is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they really is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wet gay dream. Yeah. All these men walking around in tight pants, <laughs> yeah. bent over right before they hike a ball. And helmets so no one knows you're gay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, hide. man. Yeah, you're your quarterback undercover. center position is like so the most that, that's intimate. That's the wildest shit. Yeah. Like, you got to have your hands like this. Yeah, yeah. Underneath somebody's ball sack. Yeah. Then somebody gives you their ball. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You I know what I mean? It. Every position's pretty yeah. gay, too. Really? Tight end, tight end. wide receiver. Yeah. <laughs> tight ends are virgins. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. pretty not tight gay. Tight ends are virgins. Mm. Yeah, 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 tight ends are virgins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy how everybody's dick got hard at the same time yeah, thinking about this shit. Yeah, yeah. My computer dick. almost flew off my yeah. lap. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we need to take a break for a second because you need a new wallet. Your wallet is trash, torn up, broken apart, barely holds your credit cards, probably money falling out of it if you even got some money, and you need something to represent yourself way better when you're on that date with your new girl, your side piece, your wife, whatever it is. When that bill comes, don't pull out the bullshit, you pull out an extra. Look at this, sleek, beautiful, gorgeous, and protected. What do I mean by protected? You know how they do you these days, right? All it takes is one boop and they take all your credit card information. They call this RFID protected or whatever the hell it is. It's boot proof. That means some scammer, some hustler walking down the street can't just tap your pocket, steal all your information like your other wallet. They snatch everything from your other wallet. Boom, spend it all day. Crazy things. Wife asking weird questions. Not with extra. Your money, your credit is safe with them, okay? I'm telling you... It's also trackable worldwide. You're never going to lose your wallet. Think about that. You're never going to lose your wallet. It's trackable worldwide. This is the one wallet you're not going to lose. And also, it's voice activated. If you did lose your wallet, just call that shit. Worked with Google Home, Alexa, and Siri. And here's the best part. The wallets. First of all, think of all the money you're going to save. No money's going to fall out of it. Nobody's going to steal your credit cards. Right? Quick access. Boom. Quick access. Right? Think about that. Right? Boom, quick access, all those cards. Think about this. So all the money you're already saving by keeping your money and not letting anybody steal from you, on top of that, you're getting 25% off site-wide with the code FLAGRANT at shop.exter.com slash flagrant. That is shop.exter.com slash flagrant, 25% off. Go do that. Now let's get back to the show. Canada, I'm coming. One show, August 27th, Great Outdoors Fest, it's in Calgary. Get your ass over there. No point in going to Calgary any other time of year. But this time, you go, we dance. August 27th, theandrewshows.com for tickets. Now Akash has some dates. Yo, first of all, I'm going to be in Miami next weekend. That's March 9th through 11th. I think those are uncomfortable dates to give me, 9 through 11, but they gave them to me. Come to the improv. Then, April 20th through, through 22nd, I'm going to be in Denver at Comedy Works, one of the best clubs in America. Also, I'm going to be in Denver on 420, so buy your tickets because I think I have to get high and get on stage, which I've never done before. It could be really fun or a complete nightmare. Come find out either way. Also, July 12th, Huntsville, Alabama, Stand Up Live. July 13th at Zany's in Nashville, and we're going to add a bunch more dates. Get your tickets to those shows also at AkashSing.com. Now let's get back to the show. Back to your anxiety. Um, I'm, I'm, where are you at on dreams? You think dreams like... <laughs> where are you at on dreams? real though. Back to like feeling energy and shit. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. You're my ayahuasca right now. Yeah. Where are we at on dreams? Do you have dreams and they come true? Do you believe that dreams mean something? I've never had a dream that came true. I do believe dreams mean something, but I believe dreams are more metaphors. Mm -hmm. You know, who I, you know what I, what's re been happening recently? I get visited by dead people in my dreams. Well, a lot. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like who? Uh, I got visited by Jazz in two dreams. I got visited mm. by my grandmother once in a dream. I got visited by my homegirl, uh, Michelle Austin, in a dream. And that, like this has been in recent times, like over the past, yeah, my grandmother, when she died in, oh, when did she die? Oh, six? She died in oh, six. I had two dreams about her. And, and it was like, 
literally, like one dream was like it was on some like Max Headroom shit. So it was like all of her. Remember Max Headroom? Y'all remember Max Headroom? Yeah. Damn, am I that old? <laughs> None of y'all remember Max Headroom? No. Nah. God damn, y'all gotta Google Max Headroom. But Max Headroom was like this. Like, I don't want to say AI, but this thing from, I don't know if it was Pepsi or something back in the day, but it was my grandmother, like, okay, Hollywood Squares. Yeah. It was like my grandmother's head in all of these Hollywood squares, you know what I mean? And it was just kind of like shaking, and that was odd, but then the next dream I had of her, she was looking really young, mm. and I was sitting in her house, mm. and I think I was sitting in the chair she passed away in, mm. and she was telling me about my niece, my, 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 my sister's only daughter. Like, she was telling me about... Her, like just saying like, oh, you know, yeah, I saw her, this and that. And that was very realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with Jazz. I had a really realistic dream about Jazz. We were all somewhere and I saw her walk in and I'm like, oh shit, Jazz. And then she turned around and left and then I went chasing after her and she told me she didn't want to be bothered. <laughs> and I haven't had a dream about her since. And then uh, my, my homegirl, Michelle Austin, I had a dream that we was at this house I had rented the summer she passed away. Mm. And it's so interesting because in the backyard, we were all sitting in the backyard and everybody that was with me in that house was there in the dream, but she was there. And she just was like, she came up to me and she just told me, thank you. And she told me, she told me to walk with her and then she, we walked to the bar and she fixed the drink. And then I woke up. Whoa. Yeah, so I mean, I've been having dreams. I've, I've had dreams about, those have, those have been my dreams lately. You think, are you ever lucid in those dreams? Lucid Would meaning like, like you can control soft? yourself? No, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully, you, hopefully you if your grandma's around. Yeah. Like, uh, no, I mean, like, uh, like, are you ever uh, like able to control your behavior in the dream? It's called lucidly dreaming. So you know you're dreaming and you recognize you're dreaming and you go, okay, I'm in a dream right now. I can kind of do whatever I want. Yeah, well, I don't... That's a good question because none of the dreams Never are dream. normal. Like I knew, like when you, when you I don't know because when they don't have to when, be normal. When I'm, I saw I'm, Jazz, I'm I got up and ran you. after her. But but do you know you're dreaming? Put it this way: There's been times where I've been dreaming, right? And mm. I go, I think I'm dreaming right oh, now. Oh yeah, and you yeah. immediately try to fuck. And then I, you know, I'll, 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 I'll like try to fly, like I'll, and I'll just yeah. fly. No, yeah. no, I've never yeah. had that happen. You yeah. fly yeah. first? I've had sex with more than one woman. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, 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 respect, right? Hey, that's, he, he's but sexy. In my dreams, <laughs> in my dreams, I've fucked that's many sucks. women. Watch well, yeah. out, your dad about to fuck you up again. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. Come on, man. Football. Let's play a little football real quick. Football. Nah, I'm, I'm, curious, curious. Oh. I'm curious what if if you yeah, would believe yeah. that and like and you would try to have conversations with these people. Like, do you try to take advantage of those moments? Nah, I've I've, I've woken up and I'm like, damn, I want to go back to sleep to get back in that moment, yeah, but I've yeah. never like, yeah. Now, you, no. you think it's a metaphor and not you going in between dimensions or realms or whatever the, the term is. No, yeah. Those dreams, I feel like I'm in, I'm in dimensions, you know what I mean? Which makes you wonder about, like, just the, even this life we live. Because literally, when I had that dream about Michelle, I was... When I say I was at... The, I, was, I had rented a house at the Isle of Palms that summer. And it was, like, my family and, like, you know, my friends. Like, I, like Angela Rye was there. Like, all of us were in this house, yeah. you know what I mean? And when I had this dream about Michelle, it was that crew. Like, I, like, everybody was there. It was so realistic. It was the same house. It was the backyard. It was everything I had already felt. You know how when you've been somewhere before, so you can feel it? Like, if yeah. you've been somewhere, you can feel yeah. that place. Yeah. I felt that in my dream. It yeah. just so happened that Michelle happened to be there. You should try taking a little melatonin. Like, if I take a little bit extra, I'll have a lucid dream. Oh, you lucid like, dream regularly? Only if I have melatonin. I have And so, really? like, I can... Continue where I left off in the dream. I've done like, that. I can really get yeah. into it. Like, really? I'll, I'll, wake, I'll wake up, go to the bathroom, go back, continue to dream, and I can make all the decisions. I'll fly, I do the flying fuck shit. If you want yeah. to, maybe. <laughs> so that, that's why I want to do <laughs> ayahuasca, though. Because even, like, even when I talk to mediums, right? Like, I love talking to mediums um, because I, 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 back in the day, I had a medium randomly run up on me and tell me all of this stuff that was going to happen in my life. Like, I mean, literally everything from daughters to. You know, he kept saying, I see a microphone in Howard Stern. Like, he was saying all of this to me. This was like 2006. And he was telling me about all these guides that I have around me. And he was like, you know, all of these guides are conspiring to see me succeed. So, so you didn't predict nothing. Somebody just told you. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, lucid dreamer. Um, but, oh. I had, Man, that was, you heard him. Huh? Thank you. No, because you know, when I said lucid dreamer, I really meant wet dreamer. Oh. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? But I didn't want to backtrack, yeah. so I just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, so um, when, when I, I like talking to mediums, and mediums are always talking to me about how these people from the other side 
are trying to communicate with me. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, as I've gotten older, I feel that and I hear that. So you wonder if I'm just hearing shit or right, this is what I want to believe, I want to believe I'm yeah. talking to these people, or is it really happening? Yeah. So that's why I want to do ayahuasca, to see if I can like really tap into that thing that people always tell me they see around me. So you you already believe that there are these different realms. 100%. And you feel like you've kind of organically tapped into them different Absolutely. times in your life. And you Absolutely. think through ayahuasca, it might confirm that that is a reality. Absolutely. Because everybody 100% sure. Yes, because everybody that's done it says that's how they feel. They say they feel, they, they're fully aware they're here, but they're also fully aware they're someplace else. And they're able to do what you, y'all was talking about doing, I guess like navigate their way through that other realm, like talk to the other Oh, you're saying, beings uh, yeah, and, you're present yes, in this trip. Yes, yeah, 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 lucidly yes, dreaming. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. yeah. I think you lucidly dreaming would be really interesting. I can't wait. Yeah, we'll it would it. be kind of cool. I think, I guess that's a, that was that movie. What was that movie Leonardo DiCaprio was in? Uh, Inception? Wolf of Wall Inception, Street? No, oh, Inception? Inception, yeah. And it's like the ability to kind of like get lost in a dream and like hang out with these people who have passed. Like imagine every time you went to sleep, you had a choice. You could hang out with your, yeah, your parents, yeah. or your wow. grandparents, or your friends yeah. that have passed. And like you wouldn't care about death that much. Yeah. Because it's not gone. Yeah, it's they're, not they're gone. Not, not gone. You, you, your, your, your whole perspective on death would be totally different. I think about that with Black Panther. You know how in Black Panther and they go on like the, uh, what's it called, the ancestral plane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, if you know you're going to be with your loved ones in the future and y'all are going to be with each other, you wouldn't trip off death like that. Mm. Yeah, and we probably get more sleep. Like, we don't prioritize sleep now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, imagine yeah. you miss sleep, you miss some time with your dad. Oh, yeah. You miss your time with your mom. Woo. You're excited to go to sleep. You can't wait. It's 8 p.m. Let's go. go. Lock it in. <laughs> yeah. Like that, man. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You don't even need yeah, to do bro. drugs, really. Yeah, if go you got bed. a lover, yeah. you know what I mean? You be a gay lover. <laughs> Make sure you sleep on your stomach every night. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Shala, that Shala, is Shala, true, you guys, though. You, no. It's okay, bro. <laughs> what? I mean, if you got something to say. It's you. Every time I look at you, I can't help but he think. Because you look like a sperm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Making you uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's wild. You need to get nah. slurped up. <laughs> that's wild. That's Hell, crazy. I don't know it's more gay. <laughs> like, that's crazy. This is not gay. It's called being progressive. No, now. but yeah. this, that is progressive of you. Like, sleeping on your stomach just in case you have a dream <laughs> where one of your, you know, one of your buddies back in the day is now gay in the dream world. Yeah. He could fuck you. Like... Cause it's selfish Yo, to sleep you on your back. In a, if you get fucked by a man in your dream, are you gay? If that's, you slept on your stomach, that's you are. Cause you asked for your sleep yeah. for sure. Really? Yeah. That's gayer than fucking a man in your sleep for sure. That's like the gayest dream. Why? Well, you got in a position to get ready for it first. You like primed your yeah. dreams. Also, you lost a fight. Fighting in your dreams is hard though. Like you know what I mean in general. Like your punches are mad slow. You can't run properly. Yeah. So if you get fucked and it's just kind of like it happened to you, then maybe it's not as gay. Yo, yeah. you want it, bro? Yeah. It's there. It's in your subconscious. You're inviting. Well, I'm not going to lie. I had a That's dream. why they call it a sub. I had a dream where I was hooking up with That's this girl, man, and like, um, and her and her clip was kind of big. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it was kind of like, I went down there. I was like, hey, I'll, yo. I'll, I'll, I'll Alexandra Wayne. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Wayne. <laughs> but it was kind of big, yeah. bro. How, yeah. How big? Like, Say again? I don't know. It was like, it, it was, it was it almost looked like them birthday hats. You know those like cone birthday hats? Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. it had like an ornament on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. And I was like, what is this Did all you about? you suck it like a man? What were the ornaments? I don't think I sucked it, you man. I sucked that shit I'd like a man. I probably kissed bro. it, though. I probably <laughs> kissed <laughs> it, though. Yeah. I, I probably maybe gave it a kiss or you two. You got to, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, that's not gay. I don't think so. That's yeah. It's a woman. Yeah. It's a woman's <laughs> long clit. It's yeah. a woman's long clit. I mean, a clit is a little dick, though. It, it would be. No, no, it, no, it is. A clit, uh, it's been proven. That's the part of the body that grows into it. <laughs> no, it's been that. scientifically no, it proven, y'all. Yeah. Scientists. The same nah. ones that said COVID was made by the Chinese. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about Woody Harrelson speaking truth to what did, power? What do you say? He was on SNL, bro. What do you do? He said that uh, maybe we could play it right yeah, here. Yeah, this is just one little part of it. Stay locked in their homes, and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs. Being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day long. 
Boo, boo, wait, wait, boo. Wait, 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 you that was like that? garbage. Wait, why? That delivery, I mean, that was that might have been a good setup, a good premise, but that delivery was, was horrible. Oh, right. Right. Well, there's, yeah, there's no joke. It's White men can't tell jokes. <laughs> how do you feel about that, Schultz? <laughs> how do you feel about that? that? Good. How do you feel about that, bro? Oh, God, he was in White Man Can't Tell. You would have delivered that way better than that well, shit, no bro. There's no joke there. I think it was supposed to be, but I think he flubbed the teleprompter. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it wasn't written on the teleprompter, and he was like, I'm done getting these boosters. By the way, Jon Stewart did that way better on Colbert. That was John phenomenal. John Stewart. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. John Stewart did that different way better joke, on Colbert. Though. Different joke. Not really. It is different. different and very different joke. John Stewart was telling us that it was that shit came from the lab in Wuhan. Yeah, but he's saying it's uh, the, the drug like the drug companies or cartels that Pfizer and Moderna or like whoever. Oh, so his cartels. joke is more about the vaccine it's about than the, the virus. Pharmaceutical yeah. companies. Got you. Got you. Stewart's got you. about the origin of the the virus. And that's bold yeah. to do on SNL with that liberal yeah, Hollywood yeah. audience. Yeah. 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 Didn't like it. I didn't, it didn't hit, I thought a punchline was coming, so it didn't hit for I me, mean, the but. the punchline was I, like, I, I do the, the drugs attempt. voluntarily. It's just while he did it, yeah. though. That's that was. The, I, it was the implication was a joke, I didn't pick up on uh, it. I just assumed the way he built tension, something's coming. Maybe that's why it didn't hit, because maybe it wasn't in the prompter. Yeah. Because they knew that if it was in the prompter, it would have been something they would have made them change. So maybe it wasn't something he even rehearsed. Yeah. And so he thought he could go up there and wing it, and that shit didn't goddamn slap. Yeah, because yeah. they do. They have a dress rehearsal before. That's really the whole show. And that's maybe right. He didn't do that in the dress rehearsal, and then brought that's it right. Up. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Why? Yeah. What was the point of playing that clip? Just yeah, well, Did, um, I, I feel like you had a point before y'all well, played no, it. I gotta shit it on it because it just. <laughs> been... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's what I feel yeah, like. Well, I don't think we're point. bringing it up as like a genius piece of comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought it was kind of interesting to see like a mainstream television show like SNL that always like toes the company line yeah. to at least put out an attempt at a joke about the pharmaceutical companies kind of forcing people to get vaccinated and yeah. boosted. I think folks know the jig is up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. I think anybody with some common sense and some eyes can look and be like, yeah. All right, that was some, that might have been some Bro, bullshit. do you see how they slow rolled it? Like, it was a couple weeks ago, they're like, it turns out if you have had COVID, that immunity is just as good as the vaccine or the booster. Yeah. Right? That was yeah. part one. Yeah. And then part two was, uh, yeah, this shit came from China, bro. Bro, 90% of everything the YouTube scientists were saying <laughs> is right. Has been true, yo. Straight up. Mm. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were doing when they was giving people them vaccines. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. But do you think people learn, though? Like, do you think people get jaded from this? Like, let's say something similar happens in five years. Do you think people are like, well, remember when we got lied to and they weren't telling us the whole truth? Ooh, or do you think people just jump I think fear is so irrational. Nah. The fear of death, I think, will, most people will still fall in line. Yeah. I don't know, I don't Akash. So. I don't think people care about fear anymore. Because, once again, we had this conversation two weeks ago. There was three unidentified flying objects flying over America yeah. that got shot down. They haven't retrieved no wreckage. They told us they don't know it. They don't think it's from China. They don't know where it's from, and nobody gave a fuck. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, the possibility of nuclear war, I'm not saying it's high, but it's higher than it's probably ever been in our lifetime, and nobody gives a shit. Yeah, no. You know what cares. I mean? Like, yeah. nobody like nobody gives a fuck. There's too much things. cheap distraction. It's yeah. like... You, anybody, it, it, as long as you have enough money to have a phone and an internet connection, you can go on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube and be distracted for eight hours a yeah. day and have the time of your fucking life. Yeah. That's never existed before. Yeah. People are bored before. So when you're bored and poor, you get to focus on how broke you are. Yeah. That shit sucks. I also think the size of the threat makes a difference. Like, if you learn, like, What's bigger oh, than nuclear war? Yeah. Like, no, no, but that's my point, though, is, like, if you learn that, like, oh, there's a serial killer in my area and he might come in my house, I feel like people get scared because they can control it. I can fight one guy. But when it's like, hey, the whole planet might get eviscerated, people just go, all right. I think there's a piece mm. in how huh. destructive uh, that's it is. That's interesting. I think the news has been pump-faking so long that we don't care yeah, we don't until believe some nothing. shit happens. Yeah, yeah, we're desensitizing yeah. absolutely everything. And we have this perfect distraction. I'm telling you, if you took away everybody's phones and we were getting news that... Biden gave a billion dollars to Ukraine. Jesus, we would show up at the fucking White House. It's been thirty billion dollars. Pitchforks. By the way. Shit. Thirty. If we found out, but yeah. the fact that we all have our phones and we can just laugh at a video, laugh at another video, laugh at another video, and just go on our lives, play a fucking video game, just yeah. distraction, distraction, yeah. distraction. It's the new opiate of the masses. Your yeah, phone. but it's yeah. like it's like what is it? Give them a give them a, a circus. Uh, give them give them bread and circus. Right. The problem is the Romans didn't have enough circus. You have one of these fights every month or something like that. Every second, you got a new Yo, fight in the Colosseum. They didn't have enough circus. Do you, so you think the Romans knew that their empire was falling? When it was actually falling? 
Do you think they knew? I think probably it was too late by the time they realized. That's it. what America. That's where we're at right now. That's what it kind of feels like. That's where we're at. Oh, it's not. a different time. It's a different time. Because we got the nukes, bro. It's a different time. So Russia got more. I don't have any confidence they could actually get them here. Yeah, they can, they can have it. It can go from America by by land. It's twenty to thirty minutes by submarine. It's ten to fifteen. So they say. I, I, I'm, I'm not even. They can't even invade Ukraine. You know what I mean? Like, I need to see you snatch up Ukraine. They before, might not be the uh, best believe. on land, mm. but when it comes to hitting that button, that's I, what they would like you to believe. I'm mm. not as worried about nukes because there's so many we can destroy each other's entire countries, the entire yeah. world. So it's like, but we're all we're gonna not going to fire those nukes. Yeah. But I think financially and all that stuff, I'm worried more about other countries coming up, like China or whoever. Oh, China's long term. China, 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 been did that play. Mm -hmm. China, China been buying up everything in uh, Africa and the Caribbean, mm -hmm. parts of America. Mm -hmm. Like China been playing the long game. We lost. Yeah. The, I think we've lost the financial game to China already. And that's really to me the game now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. It's all about the money. I'm trying to think. Did you see? Did you see the article that said Donald Trump was was going to hit the nuke on North Korea? No. That would have been sick. No North Koreans coming to Akash shows anymore. <laughs> Yo, they can't. That's yeah, kind of, yeah. They can't get out of North yeah. Korea. <laughs> the rebound from nukes in Asia they is usually run into good, the though. Bomb. Like, if you think about it, like what Japan is way better off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if we're just looking at Japan before, all right, all right. Like, they went from samurais and the shingled roof to like technological superpower. You know how burning down a forest makes the soil more, more fertile? Yeah. <laughs> That's a theory. I don't know enough about that. Yeah. I'm just saying, that, that, yeah, that yeah. did happen. So it's not like this, it might help North Korea. They might need a reset. They might need to take the game out. I don't out. think there would be any more North Korea if a nuke got dropped on North Korea. <laughs> Japan is a big it. place. Part like, of it. Part of it. Nah, I think there's just, nothing left. <laughs> right now. I'm just blowing the cartridge a little. And how do you, and how do you do that without, wow. how do you now do that? Korea. How do you do that without blowing well, up South Korea? Say again? How do you do that without blowing up South Korea too? I mean, there's they're right by each other for every dice game. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> now I don't want this to happen. Yeah. I don't want this to happen. But God so damn. far, we've had a good record when it comes to like, you know, I turning mean, over. To, to Akash's point, like nobody wants to go nuke for nuke. Everybody yeah. knows you go nuke for nuke, it's over. Yeah. yeah. But how desperate is Russia right now? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying that this war is, like, putting a strain on Russia that they've never felt before, and they're talking about the health of Putin. He might just be like, fuck it. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? I ain't gonna be here. One last ride. Why not? Yeah. Nah, bro. Bro? It ain't gonna hit here. If they blow us up, we blow them up, it's over. Everything's but done. But if I'm the leader that's going anyway, y'all gonna remember my name. Him, we'll take him out. Nobody will remember his name because we're all dead. Lindsey yeah. Graham, Lindsey Graham told y'all what to do, but y'all, what did Lindsey Graham say? Y'all act like old lady bug was bugging. Lady bug says somebody need to take him out. I think we probably tried. You think so? Yeah, I mean he can't even shit alone. Have you seen him go to the bathroom with other people? Like a girl, he shits like a like a. You don't like think they woman. have drones the size of Ant Man yet? <laughs> say again. You don't think they have drones the size of Ant Man yet? I think we do. Oh. I think we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. saw that tiny camera. There's a new camera that came out. It's like the size of like a grain of rice or smaller, and it takes like a 480p picture. It's Fuck. insane. But it's like you can stick it on a wall. Damn. Can't see it. See, that's fucked up. Yeah. So then, yeah, so we should you probably run that up. He <laughs> be knowing some weird shit. Yeah. Bro. This is going to be useful. Yeah, this could be useful. All right, guys, we take a break for a second because we got some breaking news. That's right. Manscaped now sells beard products, okay? They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. I use it for my mustache because I don't have enough testosterone coursing through my veins to grow a beard, but maybe one day. If you are like me, okay, T-challenged, you can also trim up that stash, but if you got the full beard, shit. They got the beard trim to the fresh shave to the technology behind the Beard Edger Pro Kit that allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code FLAGRANT for 20% off and free shipping. Guys, it's time to tame your mane. No one likes weird beards, so say goodbye to all that stubble trouble with Manscaped Pro Beard kit. It starts with the beard hedger. Okay, they got the cordless trimmer. Has rotary uh, rotary wheel that gives you 
20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard. Think about that. Some of y'all want the big fluffy one. Some of you want it trimmed up five o'clock shadow. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. This has got it all locked in. Plus, it's waterproof, so you can shave in the shower to avoid the hair in the sink. Brilliant idea. They also have created four dermatologist-tested formulation for your post-trim care, okay? First, there's the beard shampoo and conditioner. Remember, all your hair is different, so it needs different things. That's why the kit has made shampoo and conditioner specifically, okay? Specifically designed for the hair on your face. Next, the kit has Manscaped beard oil to relieve dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath, and you cap it off with a nice beard balm, a pomade that shapes and styles and moisturizers and tames for a sculpted look to attract any fellows or dames. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three gifts. They got the beard brush, a comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So, right now you're gonna get 20% off, free shipping with the code flagrant at manscaped.com, okay? Think about that, let me be very clear. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code flagrant, manscaped, the beard hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. Now let's get back to the show. See yeah, Amen? I definitely saw Amen. Yeah, what you thought? I thought Amen was great. Yeah. Nah, stop it. Son, it was amazing. I thought it was great. That why is everybody fake. telling me, why is everybody telling me Ant-Man is trash? Because people are fucking hype beasts, even when it means people are hype beasts for the internet. So everybody, wow. if they'll go online, look at what the popular opinion is, and run with it. Ant Man was but fucking Paul great. Miss. He's great. I, I thought he was. I wish he would have got killed though. Why? Why? Because it would have showed how much of a threat Kang really is. Ah. Uh. I feel like Kang went out a little too like a little too, yeah. Little, yeah. little too soft for him to be the big bad threat that we know he is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I wish he would have like killed that man. Mm. Or maybe the wasp. You could have got rid of the wasp. You got to get rid of somebody. Kill a wasp. Yeah, yeah, kill yeah. Kill a wasp. Just show the level of threat that he is. If you yeah. don't want to kill that man, you should have killed the wasp. Mm. Did you he kill I mean? anybody? I... Was there anybody that... No, and he kept talking about all the Avengers he killed, but you didn't kill any. Like, yeah, you you got to show me power. killing it. Yeah, yeah. Kill, like kill Thanos a killed half the fucking Bomb. world. That's Done. right. Bye. Bye. Seriously. Bomb. Actually, I, I love the first scene in yes. uh, the Avengers when he Just takes out Loki. Yeah, yeah. And he also, it set the tone. He also beats the shit out of the Hulk. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And remember the guy said, yeah. let him have his fun. So much yeah. so that the Hulk had fucking erectile dysfunction for the rest of the yeah, goddamn yeah, movie. Uh, yeah. Think about that. But that was the last one. It was like, it built up. We saw a lot of Thanos No, that before. was the second to the last one. Infinity, Infinity War. War. Oh, yeah. really? And then second no, was Endgame. Was the it, was the op it was one of the best opening scenes to an action movie ever. Because and endings. Because you take out a dude. Yeah, the ending was fire Fucking well. Thanos won, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. And they left us hanging for a year. Yeah. yeah. Like, Thanos won, bro. Okay, Jake Paul had a fight this weekend. Did oh, you yeah. watch the fight? I definitely ordered it. Yeah, same. 100%. I ordered it as well. Great fight. Yeah, it really was. Fantastic fight. Um, yeah. It was a good fight, but you know what's so interesting? You watch it? Yeah, I, I saw clips, but it looked like a lot of sloppy boxing. No, it was, it was a great, and it was like tactical. I mean, Tommy Fury's not a great boxer either. Yeah, like neither Bro, one of them. Bro, both of like... them showed excellent boxing IQ and then started to make changes in real time. Not I was like Jake, so Not Jake impressive. so much. No, but Jake did. I the thing is that actually. Tommy had a fucking chin on him. So, so what happened is Tommy starts peppering Jake with his jab. Tommy's mm -hmm. got like these really long arms. Like if you look at uh, what's it, Tyson as well, he's got these like freakishly long mm -hmm. arms. So... Tommy was doing this thing, and this is the, the most difficult thing for Jake. Jake has like the nuclear bomb, is this big overhand right. So what he does is too predictable in this fight, though. Well, oh here's my the, God. Here's, here's the thing. In order to land that big overhand right, he needs somebody to throw a jab. He needs to slip. time the jab, slip it, and then come over. So as what but Tommy kept hitting him with that. Kept jab. hitting him with the jab. <laughs> yeah, so he was yeah. sticking, and the arms were long enough that even when Jake did land, it was coming right before yeah. him or it hit his shoulder or whatever. So all of a sudden, I saw that immediately. I go, okay, this is this is this is gonna be tricky. Jake makes an adjustment. Jake starts slipping that jab and then throwing these big left hooks and lands. Uh, and he starts, but Tommy had a fucking well, chin I, on I him. Think, I think I was I think, really impressed. No, Tom him on that one word. Yo, he caught him a couple back. times. Tommy definitely got a chin, but I also think that Tommy moving naturally as a boxer fucked Jake up. Yes. Because Jake's and not the, used to being in the ring with people who actually move. And the distance that he kept. Mm -hmm. So, like that boxing distance, maintaining that distance, staying right outside of the range, mm -hmm. knowing when to come in. When you're a kickboxer, like when you're going up against guys who traditionally train in Muay Thai or kickboxing, there isn't movement. You stand kind of right in front of one another, and then you kick, they kick. It's like sock and bop them in yeah. a lot of light. And it's not to say that they aren't skilled, but it's just a different style of engagement. So when Jake is going up against a guy like that who's going to stand in front of him, he can it's load easy. that fucking big right hand well, up. When you're fighting NBA it. players and former MMA fighters Jake, Jake, who don't know how to move like a boxer in the Jake ring. Jake clearly beat 
Anderson Silva. Uh, now, here's the thing. I was Anderson's a, not a boxer. But he has, he's had eight fights or something but like that. But boxing is a boxer. sweet science, man. Point is, this is the, I think this is the best thing to happen to Jake. Why? I don't. I'll explain why. His stock was too high for the money fights. The money fights for Jake, in my opinion, are not fighting real boxers. The money fights for Jake are fighting celebrities. Oh, I agree. So he, when he beat Anderson Silva and convincingly and dropped him, after that I go, I don't think, I don't think uh, KSI can beat him. And KSI is the big money fight. Mm. Him losing to Tommy, who's a boxer, but he's not a fucking top ranked boxer by any means. No, not at all. So him losing to, to Tommy makes all the other celebrities that also box go. Oh, I might be able to beat that motherfucker. Stay in your lane, Jake. Fight the celebrities. I already nah, told you this. Celebrities yeah. or the MMA guys. So I look at this and I go, okay, if he beats Tommy, if I'm KSI, I'm going, I'm not fighting this motherfucker. This guy's a legit, amazing yeah, fucking yeah, boxer. Yeah, yeah, he just yeah. beat a guy who's dedicated his life to boxing, okay? Eh, yeah, sort of. No, Tommy's yeah. boxed his whole life. Yeah, but he I grew hate up in a boxing and now he was a reality star. Yeah. You can be a like reality Lake, star and Lake, also... Lake Flaccid or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that shit called? I don't know. He was Love on some... Island. Love Island. Love Island, Love yeah, Island. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake Flaccid is hilarious. <laughs> but uh, so I guess what I'm saying is like, you take him, you take a guy like, like, like uh, Jake, and now you go, even when Jake beat Anderson Silva and convincingly, I was like, I don't think Nate Diaz can beat Jake. I think Jake has these MMA fighters' numbers. I don't think that that's actually a good fight. Now that he lost to Tommy, I start going, ooh, this Nate fight is interesting. This KSI fight is interesting. And those are the lucrative fights. So well, yeah. you're saying if he beat uh, Fury, he would have gone from a celebrity who boxes to a boxer, boxer. in our eyes. Yeah, because he finally beat a real boxer. And then, then he, he could, can make real money off his like, I'm not fighting And then he boxer. could only fight real boxers, and then he'd have harder fights for less money. So he'd have to fight, uh, he'd have to fight a mm. Canelo. No, no, I think he'd still be the draw. No, he, he, he'd still, he'd, yeah, he'd still the, generate mad the money. The draw for Jake is to watch him lose. It's very similar to Mayweather. Mm -hmm. He's positioned himself as a heel, yeah. right? And it's an incredibly difficult thing to do emotionally. Like, you're just dealing with hate non-fucking-stop. Like, the... His like resilience emotionally to handling this, like it, it's I love the way he lost, bro. He, he owned that shit. He said, "Judge yeah. me by nah, my Now, nah, don't get me wrong. He did throw out a couple of ailments. You know what I mean? He was oh, like, he oh, "I got a hurt arm, and I was something else." Like he named like three things, but I'm yeah. like, for the most part, he was like, "Don't judge me how by, by, by how wins, I win, judge me by, by, by loss." Yeah. I like the way he handled it. I'm just I saying, like career-wise, making money-wise, this is the best thing. I don't need to see a rematch with Tommy. Like, I don't care about it. Nah. I know he might care about it for ego, but I don't care about it. Nah. What I want to see him do is fight KSI mm. or Nate Diaz. You beat KSI, then you fight Nate Diaz. You beat Nate Diaz, you rematch Tommy. And ideally, Tommy has kind of, like, increased his profile by having other legitimate boxing fights as well. You but, have one more big one near death. And it's not like he got his ass kicked. You know what I mean? Oh, he it went Tommy. eight rounds, he dropped him, you know what I mean? He just got outboxed. Yes, but he that's got it. outboxed. That's it. Yeah. That's why I feel like there's not... A, any basic boxer can beat Jake Paul. Well, that's so that's what especially they're gonna, in the cruiserweight division. That's what they're going to claim, right? That's what I think. I believe that, and it's, and it's reasonable to think mm -hmm. it. But that's what they're going to claim. They're going to claim, okay, he finally fought a boxer and someone who is skilled in boxing specifically, not MMA, but boxing, is going to be able to beat him. every time. And that's and that's what they'll probably say, right? But in my mind, it's like, you're in this for money, right? You're not in this to prove that you're a fucking boxer. It depends. If his goal is to be a great boxer, which he said that's his goal, then think, it impacts his overall. I think the yes. more you win, the more you think is possible, as you should. Mm. So as he's beating all these MMA guys, he's like, yo, I think you gotta take a boxer. Mm. Maybe this was God's way of being like, bro, save your brain and just go fight KSI. Yeah. Go yeah. fight celebrities. Yeah. You, you're not, I'm not, you're too late in this boxing thing. Yeah. What I hated is like all the, uh, and, and I, it finally dawned on me why they were riding for him so hard. Like Sean Porter was really riding for Jake Paul. Yeah. But it's because they're both from Ohio. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they kept saying things like, he's finally out of Tyson Fury's shadow. No, you're not, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, Tyson Fury yeah. is the heavyweight champion of the fucking yeah. world. Yeah, yeah. This man has been in the ring fighting wars. Yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. You beat Jake Paul. You're still in your brother's shadow. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. That's a great shadow to be in. Yeah. Like you have to be like, like, you'd have to do triple what uh, Tyson Fury has done in his boxing career yeah, to get out of that shadow. Yeah. It's not bad to be in the shadow of arguably the greatest heavyweight ever. Come on. Yeah. A guy who got about? knocked out by the hardest puncher in the world multiple times in one. Knocked down. Yes. But yeah. Not, yes. Not, and yeah. got up. Yeah. And then the next two fights wasn't even close. Yeah. Third fight was, was was more decent than the second fight. Yeah. But come on, like are stop. They, are they full brothers? 
I think it's left. nothing like. Yeah, oh, okay. I think, it's uh, I think the, the father dad. got another. Got you. I think Tommy was in good I, shape, I think man. We're assuming, but yeah, it, it makes sense. Uh, Tommy was in good shape, yo. Yeah. Like, I, I, like I'm like, as soon as I'm like, oh, Tommy's gonna beat Jake Paul. Yeah, that first round. I didn't think it was gonna be a knockout, but I just like, yo, he's gonna beat Jake. Well, Paul. I don't know if this applies, but I remember one thing Andrew said about Anthony, Anthony Joshua. All those big muscles get you worn out quicker. Because they take a lot, need a lot of oxygen, and Tommy has some big motherfucking muscles. Anthony Joshua was never that good. I told y'all this a million times. Nice yeah. guy, great guy. Hmm. I've never believed in Anthony Joshua as a fighter mm. ever. I believed that at the time. At, uh, I feel like every, even before he got to Usyk, you know, and uh, uh, what's the other dude who beat him? Can't even remember his name now. Anthony Ruiz. Oh yeah, yeah. Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz. Yeah. Before that, I thought Deontay would have beat Anthony Joshua. I thought Ortiz would have beat Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's not even close. Yeah, come, come on. Come, even close. come on. You wouldn't even want that. Yeah. Why, why did they have a smaller ring? What was the purpose of that? I don't know who wanted that. Some Tommy, Tommy wanted, wanted it. it. Tommy wanted it. Yeah. That's really interesting because I think that actually benefits Jake. Because Jake's not a dancer. Jake is coming straight forward. He's yeah. coming at you. He wants to engage. So yeah. Tommy is more of like a boxer. Yeah. So you would think that he would want more room so he could dance. But if he wanted the smaller ring, it means he wants to get in there and bang. Right. You know? What I hated about the fight was the fucking referee trying to be the MVP. I hate a oh referee my God. that wants the attention. Bro, it's amateur. You know you're fighting two people that don't have that much experience. Why are you, like, let but them go a little bit. I thought that neither one of them did anything that was flagrant. Like, I guess maybe there was some leaning. Yes, there was some holding. But no more than you would see in every I didn't see it either. Like, just break them up. Yeah, don't take away it. the point. Yeah, that I was too much. Stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. And they did it for both of them, so I guess it evened out. But, like, I hate a referee that, like, makes it about them. I think that was a makeup deduction. I think he maybe fucked was. up deducting Jake's yeah. point. And then he was like, but well, how are you deducting I, anything from them? Let them bang out. Like, yeah. who gives a fuck? I thought the fight was great. I thought it was a really it was entertaining. great fight. Uh, Listen, yes, I, I, you gotta, I gotta watch it. it. Yeah, I gotta see this. I have not been it. disappointed by Jake Paul. Because they both made adjustments. Like, Jake was getting caught with a jab, and all of a sudden, Jake started to stick this long jab, and then he started catching um, well, Tommy, right? And then Tommy made this adjustment where he noticed that Jake was really like ducking when he would throw the jab. So Tommy would throw this uppercut yeah. as Jake would duck, and it was like, I'm see, I was seeing like really high IQ box. It's hard to go in there and worry about getting your fucking head caved in yeah. while also going, okay, he's doing this thing. Yeah. I'm going to change my game plan and do that thing mm. on the fly. And Jake, they both did it. Jake got a lot of Mexican in him, bro. He does. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, because I watched the last fight. Last fight, he got winded. Who was the last fight? Silver, right? Yeah. You could tell he got tired, but he yeah. gets better. But he was as throwing. the fight goes on, like it's almost like he gets stronger, and he'd be looking like red yeah. hair all over the yeah. place. But he yeah. just don't stop working, no, bro. They like went after it. I'm he's a dog. He, yeah. he, yo, Jake's a dog. He's a Mexican. He's, he's, fight, he's Mexican. He got a lot of Mexican Jake's fight in him, Mexican, yo. He do. Jake's he got a lot, a lot of Mexican fight in him, yo. Canelo will knock him the fuck out, though. <laughs> huh? Canelo will knock him the fuck out. Yeah, I don't think he wants to fight. No, no, no. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Yeah, yeah. But we don't want to see that. Like I want to see the KSI fight. That has so much buildup already. I thought they fought already. No, no, no. KSI fought Logan. Twice. Oh, right? oh, okay. So this is the get back. And I think that KSI watches that, and now maybe it brings Jake back to reality a little bit. Whereas before, after that Silva fight, if I'm KSI, I'm going, I focus, I've, I do 10 other fucking projects. Yeah. This is a part time gig for me, and yeah. this guy's dedicated full time to fucking boxing. I can't compete with that. But maybe now. I think Tyson Fury should fight Logan. Bro. Oh, dude. That, Come on, bro. No, no. I do. In, in, in WWE. No, no. I think they should just box. No. Tyson? Logan, Logan was talking spicy, yo. I uh, think that was kind of wild. That's what I'm saying. Logan was talking spicy the about arena. the family, yo. I think. Oh, wait, what did he say about the family? He's, yeah, I think he said, Tommy, if you can hear me, you're a bitch. Your whole family is bitches. Oof, that's right. <laughs> that was wild. Give Logan a title shot. Give Logan a title shot. <laughs> By the way, I just told y'all to plot a Creed 3. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, give the guy who's only had one fight. No fights, actually. Well, no, one fight, a title shot. Well, no, no fights. Yeah. Get a guy a title shot. Wait, why did he get the title shot? I mean, eh, eh, I don't want to give it all that away. But yeah, it, it, when you look at it, it kind of makes sense. Like it could happen. But you it's know also what I mean? maybe a little corny, like. <laughs> oh my God. If, if, you're, if you're a fan of boxing, you're like, yo, that would never happen. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Yeah, but yeah. maybe it could if you are the promoter. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, Tyson yeah, Fury yeah. could say, y'all want to fight Logan Paul? It's a big money fight. I mean, that's also the plot of Creed, too, to be fair. This guy in Russia 
this promoter is like, let's make that fight happen. That's Drago's son. Yeah. Uh, it's a big money fight. Come on, yeah, Tyson yeah, yeah. and Logan will be amazing. To, oh, like, that would be huge. And make crazy, promoted. crazy money. But I mean, Tyson's going to absolutely yeah, maul him. Logan I mean, we know this. Away. Yeah, Logan might die. Yeah. Like, literally. No, nah, I think Tyson, he wouldn't, he'll go halfway. He wouldn't try to kill him. Son, he's huge. But he could like, kill he him. He could kill him yes. if he wanted to kill him. That's, no. It's a choice. I don't want to be in the ring with someone that's going halfway just so I don't die. die. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you know, I think like, Russian once Logan said. Logan might have said it knowing this guy's not going to kill me. I'm too small. It's too easy. I don't think Tyson would kill him. Tyson would know. Tyson would fuck him up, but he would know not to, like, I'm not going to kill you. He might just knock him out with body shots or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, Tyson has that IQ. But I don't want to watch that fight either. Really? I don't want to watch someone take it easy. Right? Damn. We watching it for Carnage, right? No. I don't want to see Logan die. I like Logan. Not die. Yeah. But I don't want to see I don't want to see anybody die, but I want to see two fighters going at it. What yeah, I liked yeah, about yeah, the Tommy yeah, yeah, uh, Jake yeah. fight is they were both going at Even it. Even Logan yeah. and Floyd, it was cool because it's Hell like yeah. one has a crazy height advantage and everything. Floyd was trying to get Logan out of Floyd here. Floyd was trying to get Logan out of here. And then Logan was trying to get Floyd out of here. It was fun. It was great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Y'all would love to see Logan Tyson, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I would see it. That, come on, that's a fight, it. bro. I would see it. I would not see, see Logan, Logan Mike Tommy. Tyson. Oh. Nah, nah, I don't want to see yeah. it. Nah, nah, nah. That, yeah. That could be fun. Because now it levels nah. out. Holy no, shit, it Logan no, it Mike doesn't. Tyson? No, it doesn't. Not anymore. Yo. Logan wins that. What? Whoa. Yeah, I love Mike. Well, Mike, come on, man. At some point, come on. <laughs> Father time got to kick in, bro. Nah, nah, Come on, you don't nah, want nah, that. Stop, stop it. Nah, 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 nah. Stop it, 55, 56, probably? Nah, Mike got to be in his 60s. How old is Mike Tyson? No, no, I think Son, did I you think see you Mike right. with uh, Roy Jones? That's Roy Jones, another senior citizen. Yeah, but Mike, Mike was doing his thing. 56, 56 years old. Yeah. Nah, you don't Mike want that for Mike. Mike was doing his thing. Nah, what are you talking man, about? Nah. So the numbers for the pay-per-view are not, but how many do you think they sold, if you had to guess? I, Ray, Paul? Yeah. Um, It's not going to be crazy because at the time it was on. Oh, really? Like, I, I think you still had to be a fight fan to know Sunday Jake Paul was fighting at 2 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? 400,000? I don't know if it's that much. Mm. I could be wrong. I don't I don't know. Oh. I mean, I think I it's no like a couple hundred. I give it a couple hundred. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up like what. Uh, While he does this, if you want to bet on this fight or any fights, you do that shit at Bet Online. Make sure you use the promo code Flagrant, okay? And they're going to match 50% of that initial deposit bonus, okay? Up to $1,000. So betonline.ag, promo code Flagrant. Make sure you get that shit. Yeah. Jake, yes. Jake and Silva was 200 to 300. Uh, K really? Pay per -view buys, yeah. Yeah. I think that this might go over because I think Tommy's pretty popular. In England. Yeah. Oh, that Love Island drama. And just the fight family being connected. So yeah. All day, I think, yeah. Great promo wow. from a fight family. That's, yeah, I don't know how much really promo really Silva did. Yeah. And just the fact that this was going on for two years, getting picked and yeah. canceled and whatever. Like. It was really interesting, though, the uh, Tommy Fury, Tommy Fury talking about, like, what he went through. And, like, you know, he had pulled out of the fight twice, so he's like, I'm walking out of my home, and everybody is just calling me a pussy. I'm afraid of fighting Jake Paul. Like, mm -hmm. it was just this, like, emotional release mm -hmm. finally beating the guy. Mm -hmm. And I do understand that. Like, you build your whole identity as, like, this fighter, and you're part of a fight family, and the fight family is known for being brave, taking yeah. on all Your challenges. last name is Fury. Literally. Your last name is How fucking is that Fury. possible? Your brother's first name is Tyson. Yeah, like, like, it is, this, this is it. This is all you are. I'm like, oh, this is hacky. Yeah. 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 Like, it's Tyson, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Like, yeah. And there was shit out of his control, like, there was shit out of his fucking control. Basically, him not being able to come to the States, like, there was some mob shit, basically, why yeah, he yeah, couldn't yeah, come yeah. to the States. Now, not saying he's connected, but America wanted to know if he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, sometimes yeah. in those types of situations, it's better to not talk. So I, I think Jake Paul wins that fight two years ago. Ooh. I, I do. Actually, I, I would push back because I think Jake Paul's improved as a boxer, mm -hmm. and Tommy... I don't improved know. as a boxer. Yeah, but I think Jake, this amount of time, Tommy's in boxing since he's a child. Jake, every year that he gets to fight yeah. is adding, like, a huge level of experience because he started so late. He's got to fight real boxers, though, even if you're just sparring real boxers. He does. Bro. He spars, like, really good guys. He does? Yeah, like, legit fucking he guys. He didn't look like it against Tommy Fury. He looked like he didn't, he's never been in the ring with somebody moving around like that. That's how, That's what I looked at. I hear what you're saying. What do you think of this mentally? I noticed when he was going to fight Tommy the first time, Tommy was a favorite. Then Tommy pulled out, and everybody's like, yo, I think Jake might be the favorite. I think Tommy might be scared. This is the first time he's fighting really as a favorite, in my estimation. Do you yeah. think that fucked with him mentally to not be the underdog and not have that chip on his shoulder? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it helps like psychologically if you feel like you got something to prove. You yeah, might go harder. Because I felt worried for him just off of that going in. Yeah, it yeah. felt different this time. I'd never seen him as, and it's a real boxer. But then you're the favorite against a real boxer. It just felt like oh, I knew me he was from lose. the outside. A lot of pressures on you. Yeah. Right. I picked him to lose. I knew he was gonna lose. Who? Uh, uh, Jake Paul. Really? One hundred percent. Well, yeah, that's because you have a lot feeling. of faith in boxing. That's it. Boxing yeah. is a sweet science, baby. And yeah. if you know how to do that shit a little bit, you will beat somebody who doesn't know how to do it at all. Did you see Portnoy's thing? What he said? He was uh, like, if if uh, Tommy Fury beats Jake Paul, I'll never speak on combat sports ever again in my life. I've never been so sure of something ever, <laughs> like before the fight. And then he apologized afterwards. He's like, guys. I'm an idiot. My bad. <laughs> isn't God, Logan, he sold his company before he had that. But talk. no, he's probably saying that because he, him and Logan are. Like, isn't Logan Barstool? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah come on, man. Yeah, he rides he with his guys. Nice wearing a Barstool hat. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he puts on, such man. a big, so much faith in it. He's like, I've yeah. never been so sure of something. I was yeah, like, that's funny. Wow. Yeah. It made me think. Like, well, do a real bet. Suck some dick. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, like, fuck money. Money. You can lose amount of money if you really you believe. You put your lips down. Word is born. You put your Did lips down on a bet. No. He was right. No, I was right. I didn't have to honor it. But I, but I bet suck some dick, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everybody always want to bet shit they, they can afford to lose. Yeah, you can afford to lose nah. some money. You can't afford to lose a fucking. Dick That's so what I'm saying. Lips, if you're yeah. so confident, let me see how confident you are, what, yo. What, what's your bet on Kanye getting back with Adidas? Mm-hmm. You think that happens? Suck some dick. <laughs> yo, <stop. laughs> again, son. Again. You said again. Oh, stop putting your lips on. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> That's how sure I am. If Kanye That's gets back with Adidas, yo. you suck some. It's dick. Not not happening, yo. <laughs> Neither one of those things are happening. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm confident with that bet. Really? It's not happening, what, bro. No, 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 no. Get back with Adidas. Does, what if they just come to an agreement to sell the existing back stock? Well, that's different. How's that different? Even though I've seen that story, but I don't believe that story Let's is true Let's make a bet about that. <laughs> they come to an agreement to sell the existing back stock. I don't, back stock. I don't. If I, they do that, will you, will I don't you think Adidas, put your lips on it? I don't think Adidas risk uh, their overall brand doing something like that. Son, they took too big of a loss. Why do y'all keep saying that? Will they losing money on Beyonce? This is a company that makes 20 plus billion dollars a year in revenue. Not saying that a billion dollars isn't a loss, yeah. but y'all make it seem like Adidas is going under. Do y'all realize this company has been around for hundreds of years? No, I didn't know that. Hundreds? I don't know about hundreds. At least a hundred. I don't think so. Look it up. All right, let's see. Founded by Nazis. Put your lips on it. Put your lips on it. Put your lips on it. Founded by Nazis. If it's founded by Nazis, it can't be around for hundred years. I don't think you know how Nazis... 1949. Do the math. I don't fucking know. That's hundred years. Wow, you're right. You're right. That's what I'm saying. They make 20 billion plus revenue a year. It's not hundred years. How much? Hundreds of years. Over 20 billion a year in revenue. They make over 20 billion a year in revenue. You know what your problem is? What's my problem? Yeah. You believe in Kanye West too fucking yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm he telling believes you. in him so goddamn much. And I can't wait when he's back and you're going to be wrong and you're going to have to suck some dick. Adidas is not going to do that. First of all, why would a, a company that's making $20 billion in revenue mm-hmm. risk bringing in one guy, one guy that's going to probably ostracize so many people away from your brand? Why would you do that? You What if, what if uh, football, soccer, fight for them, say, you know what, y'all in business with Kanye, we don't want nothing FIFA. to do with y'all. FIFA. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he said fight for that. D5, Pope, Fum, the whatever the fuck. Of, uh, yeah. what, what if they say, oh, y'all in business with Kanye? We don't want to be in business with y'all. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about losing some goddamn revenue. Yep. Now you're you're dealing with a partner that, that walked away. Sense. And yeah. Kanye's not going to shut the fuck up. No! To nah, make you I th- I think, yeah, I think he learned from this. No, he man, never learned yeah. in his life, Al. Man, man where's man the atonement? in his life. Where's not, the atonement? He's shutting up. Where's the dick sucking? <laughs> yeah, he's on yeah. You got to suck some goddamn dick. Some circumcised dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> Is that the is that the price that he has to pay? Is that the what? price he has to pay or what? 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 Is that what you're saying? That Kanye should Bro, I think Kanye is no different than uh the dude from Dilbert. Scott Adams. Oh, okay, yeah, talk yeah, to him. Yeah, Stop volunteering your feelings about marginalized communities. Nobody fucking asked you, bro. Yeah. Scott Adams wanted to go DEF CON 3 on black people. Kanye went DEF CON 3 on Jewish people, and for what? Hold Why? on, let's, let's look at the Dilbert situation. I mean, Sorry, you, they're the, down. 37%. But it's been like that. See, t- t- That's this is a, this from a, May 2022, though. It's, it's been like league, that. So. Y'all don't be paying attention. Look this shit happened. Hold this this shit had to do with China, um, the, the, the Ukraine, Russia shit. Yeah. Because they pulled out of Russia because of the war. When did the Kanye shit drop? I think it was like that November, was last right? last year. Yeah, November. Bottom, the bottom is yeah. November. 
Well, that's way, they still had Kanye. Bro, this shit has November. been happening. Adidas stock has been going down for like the last two years. And it's been going up and down, like most stocks do. I don't know. They had to pull out, they pulled out of Russia. Russia was a big market for them. Yeah. And I think it's a lot of, lot of influx going on in Europe because of that, that whole uh, Russia-Ukraine invasion. Then it was something with China that had their, their, their stock fucked up. And it's not just them. It's Nike, no, too. I know this is the most I've ever seen you know about a... geopolitics is when sneakers are involved. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. He's like, the tracksuits of Russia. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> the whole economy is fucked up the tracksuits. <laughs> but Nike stocks are down like 13% as well. Yeah, mm. It's not just Adidas. I don't know why y'all are attributing Adidas being down to Kanye. That's, I mean, I'm not saying that he's not a... A part of it, but he's not mm. a large part of what's but going on. But he was with responsible them. for a lot of their sales. Yeah. And now they are not getting those sales. I think he was responsible for more of their profits than their revenue. Well, you need revenue to make profits. But no, their revenue was 20 billion a year. Yeah, and he was responsible for some of it. I think their overhead is so low with Yeezy. You know, I, mean, I don't know how much it costs to make a Yeezy, but I think their overhead is so low that him bringing in a projected 1.3 billion is a lot. I mean, I don't know how much it costs to make Yeezys. I don't know. I don't know if it's. Still, so, even if it's even if it's 1.3 billion, mm -hmm. right? What is that? Five percent? Six percent? I think they said he was of their like, total revenue. I, I think it was like seven, six to seven, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, so I 8%. guess you could take a hit. How much? Eight percent. They're saying that Yeezy generated 1.7 billion in annual revenue, which is eight percent of the total, and the net profit on that's 246 million. In either case, they're going to write this off. It's that's right. think about the big number. Mm, that's right. be fine. They might donate all the back stock to kids in Africa. And then all those kids will be looking fly as hell. So I see. I think there's actually an upside to this. Give it to kids in Ukraine. Kanye's actually helping give kids in yeah. Africa cool sneakers. Give it to kids true. in Ukraine. That's give true. it to the kids in yeah. Ukraine. Yeah, donate okay. to Ukraine, actually. That's a good So point. what happened with Dilbert? All right, so this is a comic. If you've never seen a Dilbert comic, you probably have. They're super popular fucking comics. And he just goes on. I think he's on, like, a podcast. I don't know. He's doing some type of internet interview. I think he was just live, bro. This is his own thing. It's his own thing? He has oh a YouTube channel, like, 100,000 subscribers, 118,000 or something. I think and he just hit live, bro. Yeah, he's just talking about... Himself. It's like two minutes. Thinks. We can skip around, but it gets pretty good. So if if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, uh, that's a hate group, and I don't want to have anything to do with them. The best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. <laughs> Just get the fuck away. <laughs> do you know he started this off by saying he identifies as a black person? <laughs> no way. Y'all missed it. That, that, Y'all buried the lead. He, I, he, he, he literally said, I identify as a black person and I've, identi I've identified as a black person for a while now. But he was like, now because of this poll, it's a poll that came out that said like, uh, black people, I don't, I don't know what the exact poll, black people don't like white people or something. And so he was like, now since half of these people don't like me, they're a hate group and I don't want to be a part of it. But if well, you're black, they, if he's black, cares? they and he said he don't want to be a part of that hate group. He feels like black people are the hate group because the poll says like fifty percent or sixty percent of all black people don't like white people. Oh, he, as a black person, he doesn't want to be part of the exactly. black group. Exactly. So even yes. though he's black, he just wants to get away from black. That's people. what he said. He said no. He said he's re he actually said I'm re-identifying back as white, and I don't want to be a part of this hate group. Is anymore. that really part of this? That, I, that, uh, I, I heard it this morning. Oh, I didn't hear that. Part. Scott Adams. Jeez. So is this maybe just like a bit? That's a bad <laughs> bit, bro. Why would do a bit that's going to cost you everything? Because yeah. if he's saying, oh, I'm black, and now it's like, uh, I can say whatever I want now. Well, yeah, he, if you identify as black, you can yeah. be critical of black people. Yeah. That's kind of what he's doing. He's asking for the permission slip. But he said he used to identify as black, no longer then re-identified as white, and, and now, then went on that rant. Now, why is he saying he's doing that? He goes, I identify as a black man, and then I found out that my people, are black hate people, group. are yeah. hateful. I, I yeah. can't identify yeah. as that. Yeah. And then he tries to quote Don Lemon. And he's like, I'm Lord just getting this mercy. from Don Lemon. Yeah, it's tricky. I just want to know why. Like, what makes you wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to set fire to everything I've, I've, I've built? Creed Same thing with Kanye. Creed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> that's corny, bro. Yeah, yo, yo, is what that, Scott Adams, this is corny. corny. Like, corny. why? Like, there's a thing that happens with these cartoon creators, and Patrice talked about this with Seth MacFarlane. It's like, you get jealous of your creation, and you start wanting credit, and this is maybe his, like, finally, Dilbert gets all these all this credit, everybody reads it, and nobody knows who this man is. 25 years. That's a great life. What is, I is, agree. What is Dilbert, bro? He's a goddamn white character with no mouth. He's a he's like um can't he's even an, get no head from Dilbert, bro. <laughs> he's like an office employee. What? It's like Charlotte. office space type shit. Yeah, yeah, this is like the first The Office. It was like a co like a comic strip in like eighties, nineties that was like. It looked like a Simpson with Down syndrome, bro. Like that could be Bart. <laughs> that's Bart's brother. They keep tucked away. He, he looks, looks like. 
don't, they don't want nobody to know about. I wish he was. If he was say all brother, this, yo. I really wish he just did it as a comic strip. Like if he just did like, hey, we got to get away from black people, but just as like a cartoon. I feel like it'd be a lot more palatable. You know. But this is what he does. This is what he's known for. Yeah, that's a great point. Right. You could. By the way, there's no better way to get your message across than art. That could have been a funny series of scripts. <laughs> Dilbert yeah. trying to be an ally. Yeah. And realizing, like, man, I can't win with any, any anybody. Yeah. Like, that would have been funny as shit, yeah, yo. Yeah, Dilbert should identify as black. Yeah, Dilbert's in a dashiki. Like, yeah. Yes, I, I'm transracial yeah, now. Because yeah. now you're making fun of all of this shit, right? Like, how you can just Richard identify what you want to yeah, identify yeah. at. Yes. He got out of his lane. That's the issue. That could be hilarious, yeah, man, If you want to be kind of racist, do it on in your thing that yes. you got at. You know? That would be fucking <laughs> hilarious. But I think in the past you said you... Um, prefer people being overtly racist so you know like who to stay away from no i prefer it but them. why would i do it as a I, I prefer but why would i do that if i'm him mm. i like, mean what reason do you what he what got benefit too much money bro this yeah. is what happens when you get all the money you need like he doesn't need more money so he's okay to lose uh, it and Damn. And that, why he's really losing his mind that. he's either losing his mind or wow. he doesn't need more money and yeah, the only thing he needs is to not be around as many black people. And he's just sharing that. He could. He, Can't you do that with money, though? That's my point. Segregate. It's all about class. Segregation, mm. the, the new segregation is just class. Yeah, he already said he's in a new neighborhood with no, no yeah, black Yeah, so if you've achieved it, why do you need to share with I'm other assuming people? it's the J.K. Rowling thing. It's like, you see something that's happening in society. Like, he's mentioned in another clip, I can pull it up, but basically he was like, every day I go on social media and I see black people beating up white people, and I'm over it. I'm sick of it. Uh, so I'm assuming he's seeing something that he thinks is an injustice. No one's talking about it. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna speak about that. What did JK do? She just spoke up about the, the trans fact that stuff. She felt yeah. like uh, her womanhood was being threatened. Or yeah, something? and she's like all about it. She tweets, she's like, you know, women are women and trans women are not women, blah, blah, blah. And she just ahead of her time. Because a lot of people are, are feeling that way now. A lot of people are pushing back on. Yeah. You but know, people look at her and they're like, you have a billion dollars, you live an amazing life. Why would you sacrifice your whole reputation, your whole legacy, all this shit you made mm. for just an opinion that you have that you don't, you're not even gonna be here to see I, be true? I'm with not. you. That's, that's, that's my point with these people like this. Like, why? I don't know. Like, I, I prefer that. If you feel that way, let me know you feel that way. I, this, I don't want him to feel that way. He's and not I'm disagreeing around. with you. He's just saying from Dilbert's point of view. Exactly. Why yeah. would you speak this up? Like, why? What, what do you have I mean, to gain? Like, yeah, you still want to make got, more money. He got enough money. He don't. He don't. This is so, what happens when you when you make that. all the money. You're willing to just say whatever the fuck. Why make fuck you money if you're not going to say? But fuck you burnt your legacy down. He, like, don't he don't care. Jesus Christ. His legacy is a cartoon with no mouth. I think he yeah, also he thinks has he's, no legacy. I think no one knows him. He thinks yeah, he's preserving yeah, yeah, yeah. Gilbert. Wait, I think, what? I think he looks at this and he's like, there's an injustice happening in America. Black people are beating up white people. No one's saying anything. I'm going to be the one to stand on it. And in 50 years, people go, yeah, that guy was right. I, think I don't know. I, I, there's, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of marginalized <laughs> communities in this country, <laughs> right? Mm, if know. you're a marginalized, if you're a black... <laughs> yeah, like, like, hold on one second. You may not be part of a hate group, yeah, yeah. but there's a lot of things to hate. <laughs> yeah, there, there are. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a lot of racial injustice that you can hate in yeah. this country. There's a lot of systemic racism that we all should hate if you call yourself an 100%. American. 100%. Yeah. I, I just want to go back to something Mark said. I think what happens is when people get incredibly famous for doing inconsequential shit, mm -hmm. they try to... Uh, project that fame onto something that they deem more important. Mm. So if you're known as like a cartoonist that makes silly jokes yeah, about yeah, the yeah. office, you're like, yeah, what can I do that has significance? What yeah. can I do that makes change? What can I do that is, you know, gonna gonna right the world? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, And like, they get politically like, active in either direction. Exactly. So but, I think that's kind of what he's doing. He's like making up for the fact that like what he's known for is kind of frivolous. But it's okay to be known for something frivolous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, this is not even political. This is just racist. Exactly. This yeah. is like, this is white nationalist neo-Nazi talking points. That's like, my point. Is I think let's people separate. That, people that yeah. do yeah. racist shit. Get away from shit. black people. I think people that do racist shit are not thinking, oh my, I'm ruining my legacy. I think they're, do, they're doing it because they're preserving their legacy or they're making a new legacy that they think is good. They, they want to make think, a new one. They yeah, think exactly. they're preserving their legacy. Of course it's that's, like, yeah. I don't think we yeah. need to dis like That's dis an important I don't think we need yeah. to disclaim that this is racist. But my point is that racist people do things because of their legacy, not to destroy it. You know what's funny? He doesn't think it's racist. That's my he's point. He's like, it's data. That's my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He thinks he's doing something good for his legacy. This is, is like stupid. to him, he's and like, And it's just a poll. No, no, Who did he poll? No, this is it. This is like, this is his like ice bath. <laughs> you know the people that get in the ice bath? They're yeah, like, yeah. it's changed my life. Like, it's, uh, He's like, just, you, you move away from black people. It's just fucking a so phenomenal. So a fucking pole changed your life? You're no, not it's a not stripper, a bro. It, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's been going that way. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's, and then maybe even it's when you get enough money, you don't stop caring what people think. Now you start thinking, okay, I got the money. Now legacy. Yeah, I think that, that makes sense. If you were known for something frivolous, people want to do something more. 
Because yeah. I think they go, oh, once I get money, then I'll be happy. And then they get money and they're still not happy. Yeah. And they're like, oh, once I get legacy, then I'll be happy. Mm. Once people respect me. People don't yeah. respect me. This is this is this guy, the Dilbert guy, going, I'm really smart and I'm thoughtful and yeah. I understand the world and mm. I'm sophisticated. And people think I'm just a little silly cartoonist comedian. I need to prove that I'm a sophisticated thinker. It's, and, and it's just, it's never enough. It's I'm, just the bottomless pit. Yeah, I'm sick of white grievance. You know what I mean? Especially when white grievance is towards But it's people. everybody. It's the same shit with fucking uh, Kyrie. Kyrie is the same exact as, thing as this guy. It's like, it's <clears> not good enough that he's just great at basketball and genius at basketball. It's like, I need to be a philosopher. I, I need to be a I, thinker. Let I agree, but how. Kyrie's still black. So being that he's black, like, there's actual room for real grief there. Uh, I see. You mm. know what I mean? Like, like, if you're a white male like that, like, your grievance is just the fact that Black people are complaining about th mm. this country. Everybody got their own grief, bro. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take away grief from people. It's like, also, you don't know what somebody's family is going through. You don't know so what somebody's maybe, doing. Something. This feels like, like grievance, though. Like, the stuff that he's doing, this is just like white grievance. Yeah, like, none of this makes sense. Yeah. What like, I'm just saying is just because you're a white dude doesn't mean that you haven't been fucking molested. It doesn't mean that you haven't seen your dad I get agree. shot. You know, like, there's a lot of things that... But the only thing we can relate on. Say when it, it? Those are things we can all relate to, right? Like, yeah. if, 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 if uh, America's issues were just based on shit like that, yeah. it'd be different. But when yeah. America's issues are based on what we are that we have no control of, like yeah. me being black or, you know, Alex being gay or, like, yeah. you know what I mean? You Akash being Indian. You, you know what I'm so saying? Bad, <laughs> what? You want me so bad, you want me so bad. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying. There's things that we can't control and, like, that hinders certain people in America. And deep, those people just don't want that to be anymore. But then, right. I will say there's room, I think, for white grievance. Like in fucking trains in Ohio, I'm assuming that's a white uh, town that is just. I don't think that's white grievance. Yeah. That's, that's just America grievance. failed us. I know, I understand what you're saying. It's like there's like a historical implication for the treatment yes. of black people so that okay. grievance exists. Why does that have anything to do with the world being flat? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> that Kyrie, was Kyrie's Kyrie first thing. shit, is the world is flat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, just like, yeah, I yeah, need yeah, to yeah. prove yeah, to everybody yeah. that I'm not yeah. just a guy who plays basketball yeah, 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 a dumb yeah. fucking sport. Yeah. I'm smarter than that, and here's the proof. Yeah, yeah, and I'm smarter yeah. than everyone, because I'm on the shit that no that one... nobody on. understands. Yeah. And that's what... And, and listen, it is what you spoke to earlier, what Patrice was yeah. talking about. It's like, you become jealous of your creation, and you don't think that your creation... Uh, does justice to your intellect. Yeah. So you need to prove how smart you are. It's like it's I think Kanye is a better example than Kyrie. You know, the, Kanye is a perfect Same example. Thing. Yeah, because Kyrie didn't even tell us what the issue was. You know what I'm saying? Like he just posted that book with no context. And I guess he told us later he's you know finding himself and yada yada yada. But yeah. Kanye was on some like no. I want to be like this group of people. Yeah. This group of people gets to basically do whatever they want. This is just his, his words. They get yeah. to do whatever they want. Yeah. They get to move however they want. And I'm jealous of that. I want that. Yeah. So and I'm going to shit on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? To show my, uh, my, my love for them, which is also quite strange. No, he had the greatest comeback of anybody. When he, they, <laughs> he goes, he goes, I love Nazis. And they go, you love Nazis? And there's only one way to come back from that. Yeah. It's, I love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only that's, way, that's, that's, the only way that you can justify saying the craziest thing ever. That's why I love everybody is some bullshit. Well, yeah, you don't love everybody. No, it's, it's not possible. Even in the Bible. That, <laughs> no, they got cool. Yeah. But he might love everybody. He didn't love Pete. <laughs> oh, he didn't love Pete? He didn't love Where Pete. Where was the love for Pete? He didn't love yeah. Pete. Why didn't you love Pete? Where was this love when you were shitting on Pete all the goddamn time? Because you had to think of Pete's 10 and a half inch penis. Damn. Mm. Nobody wants to think about that shit. How can yeah. you love the man with a 10 and a half inch penis? I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah. the woman you love? Yeah, huh? you might have added some, bro. Yeah, I know. Last I heard, it was you nine and a half. You might have added some, bro. No, it was 10. No, no, the reports no, that came in. you rounding up, man. Yeah. Do you I know something you got inside info? Nah, I never got inside info. Okay. Salute to my guy, Pete, though. But still, that's a great point. He just started loving everybody with the Nazis. It, that don't it's very work, bro. convenient that, that like, don't you work, start bro. loving the Nazis. That don't work. That don't work. But then again, it's if like you... the all odds matter shit. It's like, oh, yeah. everybody, oh yeah. everybody's yeah. life matter. Ooh. And that's the yeah. same shit. That's, that's don't work. Yeah. Everybody life matter until that person does something to your child. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody life matters. All life matter until that person does something to I your mom. I think we can all agree that all lives don't matter. It's I think mess. as a society, yep. we agree on that. Yep. Yes. And some people show like, that in different ways. Terrorist lives don't matter. Yep. We take them out all the time. Okay. Murderous lives. If you kill a yep. cop, we give Child you a death pen penalty. Death if, if, penalty. If, by the way, if all lives mattered, people wouldn't, people would, everybody would be against the death penalty. Exactly. Yeah. And if people are for the death penalty, yeah. all lives do not matter. Yeah. 
I mean, we know this. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just a silly thing to even retort. But instead of accepting the fact these people are saying Black Lives Matter because this country has historically shown them that Black Lives Matter less than a lot of other people, instead of just acknowledging that fact, yeah, you know, all lives matter. You, you don't believe that. Yeah, most lives matter. Some. <laughs> he's, 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 he's and a 50-50. And it's all flip. subjective. It's like a you Thanos think over here. More than 51% of yeah. lives matter? I don't know, bro. You don't think? God damn. You got to go around. I got to have more. I don't know. <laughs> you think? Damn. I can see what Thanos was coming from. I, yeah. No, no, no I see it as well. It was, it was yes. Thanos should have been more selective, though. I don't want you just randomly, uh, you, you know what I mean? Remember at the end when he said, at the end of an end game, when he was like, the only mistake I made was everybody remembers who left. When I do it this time, I'm going to make sure y'all forget and never knew they were here. Oh, oh, oh. That oh, sounded like the best One of the solution. greatest lines in movie history. He says, he says, um, as long as there are people who knew what was, they'll never, they'll never embrace what can be. Uh. And he said, this time, I'm getting rid of all you motherfuckers. <laughs> That's basically what he, he said. Was, you're not he learned to error in I'm his ways. Your memory, which is, uh, then I was like, this guy got a great idea here. Yeah. So you yeah. want to do random? Nah, got to be selective. What, what's bro. your selection process? A lot. More, it'd be more like Frailty. You ever seen Frailty? No. no. One of my favorite movies. Y'all should all watch Frailty. Frailty is about two brothers who father is a serial killer. But... See, I'll be giving the movie away. But Frailty is such an old classic. Yeah, you should yeah, watch yeah, it anyway. It's fun. He's, a, he's a serial killer, but the reason he's a serial killer is because he can touch you and see the foul shit that you've done. Oh, oh that's fire. You know what I'm saying? So the people he's killing are actually child molesters, yeah. you know, people who've killed their moms and yeah. got away with it. Like Dexter. He, Dexter, yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? And so the other son can also see you know, he has the same vision. So the, you, the whole movie, you're thinking these two motherfuckers are just crazy, and this one son is the good son because he's not going along with it. And then but the he son, just can't see the shit. He that just can't doing. see the oh, shit. He, that, that, that's right. So it, I would have to have something like that where I can actually see what you know people have done. But then again, that's like defeating the whole purpose of God. Because that's the other part of frailty. That's when I think about it as I get older. Frailty was about religion. These people believed in God, but then you taking away the whole aspect of forgiveness like that, right? Well, that, that God might not forgive. And maybe God gave them the ability to see these yeah, things. Taking so away free could, will, that's though, true. which God handle the situation. That's true, too. I mean, you know, we have all these conversations about forgiveness, but how do we know if God really forgives? Mm. The Bible's shown us some things. You know what I mean? He flooded the earth. That was Old Testament, right? I, and people like the day, they're, they're, they're like, they're, come on, man. The LeBron James version. How are you going to make a LeBron James version of the Bible? If these things happen, they happen, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you can't change history. Like, why you, uh, how all of a sudden you change history to New Testament? Next, yeah. If the story was the story, yeah, yeah, yeah. how can I change it just because I don't like the way the story was or, or originally uh, written? Uh, no, you know but when I mean? he sent his son, that, that was it. Now we're, now uh, we got it. They killed his son. <laughs> Frailty, bro. <laughs> you know, wild, yeah, yo. yeah, yeah. They killed his only son. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. God sent his only begotten son to save a world that needed saving, and they killed him and sent him back to God. Like clearly we don't want y'all help no more. Damn. Think about that. And what was what was their punishment? This. We've been on our own ever since. It's pretty good. <laughs> no, no, no. It's pretty good. No, no. God, 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 no, no, no. God been ignoring yeah, us right. ever since. Like, God, God, do y'all thing, man. Y'all figure it out. I mean, I don't know. Is it that much of a punishment? Bro. It seemed like they were getting punished way before. Did God yeah. get jealous of his creation, bro? Ooh. Is God Dilbert? Ooh. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Ooh. It's, I'm just, <laughs> you gotta watch out. Hypothesize. God, bro. That's wild. Oh, wow, Mark bro. said, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 I am joking. <laughs> he knows your heart. He knows your heart. Yeah, but I wonder. With, I, I wonder with that though. Like, we man killed what his God, one like, son. Take a couple years off, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> take a couple years. <laughs> what are you like? Take a couple years. Take a couple years off. He's like, what? I'll get him back. I'll get him back. He's like, what? Right. Has the world gotten worse? I mean that. Like, if you look at Old Testament versus New... Objectively better. Obje it's like with Japan and the nukes. Is it objectively better? It's like, better? it just got better. It I depends, don't know, bro. bro. It depends. On? It I depends. don't know. Life before, mm -hmm. right? Before we killed his son. Are you, about, are you talking about quality of life or piety? He flooded it on quality purpose. Quality of life. Even she piety, flooded bro. it on Ancient purpose. Rome was one, con one combo, one co wait, wait, wait. She flooded it on purpose, though. You said that you said the flood. You were saying you were saying that life did life get better, but she flo she flooded the earth on purpose. What I'm saying is God was punishing us 
way more before we killed his kid. It's almost like we taught him a lesson. It's like, yo, how do we know we're not getting punished now? Mm. You're a millionaire. <laughs> that, I'm just one person. Like, think about the things that are happening all around the world. Like, you just had an earthquake that killed how many people? Yeah. You know but what I mean? But they just had a flood that killed everybody. I don't know if they killed everybody. What was the life? The book said it killed <laughs> everybody. Literally, that's what the book. If we're taking the book seriously, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that story is a little. Now you picking and choosing. Yeah, I am, but that's LeBron James. That story is a little. That story is a little. That story is a little crazy. Why yo. is it crazy? Animals. Every animal. You know what I'm saying? Every animal that they knew back in the day it was yeah. it was ten. Yeah. If you lived in the two mile area, I'll be honest. If they made a movie about it, you watch the shit out of that. Three big animals on a boat, just all <laughs> floating around the ocean. You would love that movie. Them animals will be getting fucked in this era, bro. <laughs> Why you look at me? <laughs> Why you look at me to co-sign your country ass? He knows, you from the country, bro. I'm from the city. There'll be a lot of sheep on that boat, bro. All right, sheep. All right. Sheep. Now you talking to me? Speaking my language. Story just seems a little kind of. Eh. I agree with the overall premise of it. You know what I mean? I think a dude brought his farm animals onto the boat, and then the story just got more and more exaggerated. It got but a like, little exaggerated. That's it. Yeah, if you knew yeah, the flood yeah, was yeah, coming, yeah, 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 if you yeah. knew the flood was coming, boom, yeah. you put all the farm animals on. Yeah. And you don't. God You're, damn! Look at them peaks, bro. <laughs> you ever seen this? Look video? at them peaks, bro. <laughs> yeah, of course I've Come seen on, that. Come on, man. This is my people. My people figured this shit out. <laughs> that's Mark right there. No, the listen. Bro. That's not Mark. That's Jesus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who's the shepherd? <laughs> Jesus is the shepherd. Jesus with the shepherd? Well, not literally, I see but yeah. It. You know what's crazy? I see it? Yo, it's a reason. That's your flock listen, look like that. It's a reason shepherds leave from behind. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? Damn hey, right. People don't ever think Come about on that. Now. Yo. Come on now. You look at that. This away. This away. That's distracting. No, it is distracting. You think Jesus only had 12 ah. disciples? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you think they just caked up like yeah. that? There's some side disciples for Woo. sure. Yeah. And I believe yeah. in the story of the flood. It just, you know. A flood happened. A flood There's definitely no happened. It happened. Floods I think happened. the reasoning it happened happened. You know, I just think some of the details got a little, eh. You know what I mean? Yes, the details. It's just the get animal thing. Up. Like, uh, you really gonna bring all the animals, bro? It, he had. But he also didn't have to bring the sea animals. That's a good point. Exactly. So they, they didn't have to go on the boats. So or the take, flying animals. They were good. So it's really only like a couple Sheep. of animals. Yeah. Giraffes. I don't, even, I don't even think there was giraffes. No, that was Mondeo. horse. Horse became giraffe later. Local land animals. That's not that many. Bro, it's yeah, what yeah, would you yeah, take yeah. with you if you knew the flood was coming? Food. That, that shit could have been food, though. We don't uh, think about that shit. Yeah. That shit could have been food, yeah. yo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I like that they say 40 days and 40 nights. We know the nights are there, bro. Yeah. You don't gotta say, you don't gotta say the night. It sounds way better than that. That shit only makes sense on vacation. 40 days. It's like, I know. It only makes sense on vacation. When you're getting a little uh, exclusive? <laughs> that, no, when they say like seven days, yeah. they say, uh, seven days, six, six nights, nights yeah. you know what I mean? Because oh, you might yeah, fly yeah. out during the day. That's it the only time sense. that shit makes sense. Yeah, that's actually a good point. That makes sense. All I'm trying to say is that <laughs> God was punishing us. I think God was like, Jesus, I think Jesus was bothering God. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's. I think he might have sent him down here, like y'all need. Like it was like a scared straight. You're grounded for like, 32 Jesus years. Jesus was probably yeah. complaining all the time, right, and being a little pain in the ass up there. And God was like, "All right, we're gonna see if you like it down there." God you probably was like, this shit? "God probably was like, I'm telling you, it's no hope for them." Oh. Um, you know what I mean? No, there's no hope for Jesus. You're saying it was like a and charter school. Exactly. He like, punished him. It's like it's it's like a Little Mermaid. It's like, oh, you want you think land is nice? No. What if Jesus was an ally? You know what I'm saying? Who was up, up, Can up. Can you just go with my fucking no, hands? I'm with that too. God, it's probably the same thing. He can't improv for shit. What if Jesus was no an ally? Aunt. No, no aunt no. is how you I'm with you. No, what, what if Jesus was what? an ally and he was up there and wanted to do something and God. Our ally. Yes, humans. Yeah. And he saw how. He was a good white person. That's right. He saw how <laughs> our, our Mexican. He wanted to help the minorities. He's clearly Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, clearly Mexican. Hundred percent. Name Jesus. Come on, carpenter. Daddy was a carpenter. Come on, stop it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he mean, was the carpenter. His daddy was God. It, uh, uh, mom easily fertile. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Without Sarah, come on, that man. motherfucker come on. Mexican come on. is hell, Jesus, bro. Only Jesus, bro. Jesus. Okay, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, go on, go Jesus. on. Jesus. So he's up, he's up there with God. Yeah. He wants to do something. God sends him down to this impossible task. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm with you. You see what they did to Jesus? Yep. Only to have to go back to God and for Dad to say, "I told you." Mm. Or for mom to say, I told you. And now his dad's like, you just got to escape. Just run, get away from me. His dad is like Dilbert. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just got to get away. You just got to get no away. Hope, yeah. There's no hope for these and people. And Jesus no still came back. Wait, did he come back three days later? Well, he was kind of still hanging with us. He went to hell and then came back, saw Thomas. That was and just a went. flex. Yeah, but when he came back, then what happened? It was he, a flex. And then he, that's when he went up. That's like when he, he just flew up? That's when he like, became oh, immortal, bro. What yeah. do you mean? That's why we wear him on chains. 
Yeah. That's why he's the star of all the holidays. I think Alex is asking mode of transportation back to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know what the literal vessel was. I think yeah. he might have ascended. Electric car. You think it was electric? <laughs> no, I don't freak out. DeLorean. <laughs> might have been DeLorean, actually. I don't I know. I feel a little guilty talking shit about Jesus. We're like not this. talking shit about Jesus. We're trying to figure this out. This is how yeah. the Bible was written. <laughs> just like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? whole, the Bible a was whole written lot of yes and just the like this. <laughs> He'd be the worst person to write the fucking Bible. He'd <laughs> yeah. be the worst. But bro. that's why he's Jehovah's Witness, right? He's just starting his own Bible. Just your own he's the King James in yeah. this couch. Exactly. The Bible's a wild book, yo. Is Jehovah's Witness like the nation of Islam of Christianity? Nah, the Bible, the Jehovah's Witness is all Christianity. It's all, it's all based off no, the Bible. No, but did you guys take your own thing and go with it? Nah, it's literally all based off the Bible. Like, literally? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, they take it all very late. It's follow, all straight. They follow, they follow the Bible to a oh. T. Why, why no birthdays? Because there's something in the Bible where something happened on somebody's birthday. It's like a, it's considered, I don't want to say pagan. Oh, I thought you uh, just can't celebrate anyone except God. I, I, that's, I, I don't know. That makes more blood. sense. Yeah. Donations or something. It's like a lot of stuff. It's like, it's strict. Bro. I just know Cain, Adam was the first man, allegedly. Eve was the first woman, allegedly. They had Cain and Abel. And then, then they Cain just had killed it. Abel and went off and found a wife. Yep. And the Bible just leaves that plot hole wide open. Yeah. <laughs> they don't just they don't even fill us in well, on maybe what we happened. You gotta count Adam's ribs. Oh. Nah, it's only one way to fuck a rib, bro. No, you make a <laughs> yo, you the worst improviser ever, bro. <laughs> what you know, this guy, what this you guy, mean? This guy's the worst improviser ever. <laughs> what you mean? He's from the South, bro. He loves ribs. I know, I'm just saying only one way to fuck a rib. How did Adam make Eve, bro? God made Eve. No, from from his rib. His rib. Y'all believe that shit? <laughs> Yo, it's up. Jehovah's Witness is crazy. Yeah, it's up. Jehovah's Witness is crazy. These are crazy people right here, bro. He's like, I believe, I believe the book. I don't believe that, that book. That was crazy. Yeah. That's wild, bro. You believe a figurine got off a fucking tractor and was having fun with you as a child, yes. but you don't believe that Adam could make Eve out of a rib, bro? What is your fucking belief system? You believe that That's you were wild, a team bro. wolf. <laughs> you believe you're a team wolf for a little bit, bro. <laughs> and then he murdered the farmer. That's crazy. Yeah, you threw the farmer yeah. in the fire. That's wild, yo. You're wild. Women are made out of ribs. Yes. That's crazy to well, think about, What's bro. so crazy about it? It's just crazy to think about. Why is it crazy? I'm surprised more women so don't push back and... on that, yo. But you don't think that's a metaphor? That's where objectification started. Wait, why? You made from a rib? Yeah. yeah. Like, not, not, like, not that God took his time with you to... Craft you like he did, man. He yeah. just took a goddamn rib. We don't even yeah. care about ribs. Oh, wow. Women are actually made out of men. We if do. You think we about do it. care about. There's ribs. a lot of parts of our body that we care about more than ribs, bro. Yeah. yeah. You what, know what I mean? What if you took part of the dick and then made one? That make more but sense. But then it'd be kind of gay. You think if women were made out of ribs, black people would eat them out more? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. We eat pussy, bro. What yeah, are you talking it's, about? It's select groups of blacks that don't Nah, that's not, true. that's not true. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. lie. They be lying, yeah, they be they lying their ass off, oh, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 they be lying their ass off. Really? Yeah, they be lying their ass off. Really? Yeah, they be lying oh. on, some, on some mafia shit, on some Tony yeah, Soprano yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, we don't talk about this, but... <laughs> but it happens. <laughs> it would make more sense if it was that they were made out of foreskin. No, because you don't want to oh. fuck dick. Yeah, then it's, then it's gay. Then if you bang a girl, it's actually Duh. banging, banging I mean, if you dick. just planted your foreskin and then a woman grew, you're not going to fuck your dick. Technically, if I was to take my penis right now yeah. and stick it in one of y'all ribs cage, <laughs> that would be extremely gay. <laughs> Technically, we're fucking ribs, bro. That's exactly. Charlie, Charlie. Technically. Put your fingers on <laughs> <laughs> Stop acting like you're saying something real. Put your fingers on it. Stop saying you're saying something real. Listen, fellas. Technically. He's like, who's going yes and with me right now? Don't you know yes and. No means no. <laughs> No, please, no, technically we fucking rib, bro. No, 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 no. no yes, no. bro. No, no, no. You're no, fucking no. a man's rib. Yeah, that's what a woman is. Every woman comes from half man. Thank Did you. you know that? Every woman is half man. I, I, we're all half man, half Both woman. Both of our wives are half man. I know this. Half amazing. But, it's, but, 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 but that's, why, that's why it messes, right? Because a woman can be half man, half woman. A guy can be half man, half woman, and we just fuck each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then maybe gender is a construct. We're already half man, Gender half is woman. definitely a construct just because of the words. The words are named, like we yeah. made up the name of the word. And a woman is a construct. Of a rib. A rib. <laughs> yeah. She's constructed a man's rib. rib. Yeah, literally. Dude, and imagine, bro. Bro. Dude, do you think that different ribs make different women? Like, 
Oh. <laughs> you think like, you think like the big ribs? Yeah. Make, make I saw a girl be big bones. Yeah. <laughs> That's what big bones mean. Yeah. Bro, what does fucking the McRib mean? Yeah, I'm getting. Woo! <laughs> Dude, yeah, if you I bury a McRib in the Garden of Eden, or whatever that thing is, the Garden of Eden, what's the name of that shit? What, is the what happens of if you bury a McRib in the Garden of Eden? What, what happens to that? That's a bad bitch right that there. Is, bro. Man. What comes out? That's a Lori Harvey right there. If you bury a McRib in the Garden of Eden, that's, that's uh, a Lori Harvey. You think that's a Lori Harvey? That's what about a Bernice Burgers? I mean, that's what I was thinking, Bernice. Ooh. Bernice comes out. I swear I was out. thinking about Ooh. Bernice, bro. Dude. So she still got it, too. Hell yeah. She ain't never lost Ooh. it, bro. Salute uh -huh. to Bernice. Bernice to need a, Bernie they need to build a statue of Bernice Who's in New not? Jersey, bro. Do they? <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> really? They need to build a statue of Bernice Burgos in New Jersey. Yeah, bro. they do. Bernice won at life, bro. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> How many ribs do you think it took to make her? <laughs> at least. I don't think that's one rib, yeah. bro. You don't think so? No, I think some of these women are made of multiple ribs. Multiple bro. man ribs. Is it only human ribs? Say again? Yeah. Only human ribs or like dinosaur ribs? That, that doesn't count. Ooh. No, no it, was just human, it was man I think ribs. It's human. I think we got it's two human. ribs that we don't need. There's that, like two hanging ones that you could take out and you don't need them. And then really? you know what's yeah. crazy? What can you do? Maybe this is a metaphor for this. What can you do once you take out your bottom Suck ribs? Suck your own dick. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what God is. Do you know what I mean? Maybe. Oh, oh shit. God, the woman is a metaphor. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, remove yeah. these to, yeah. to make somebody that <laughs> yeah, could do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah women need to read you. the Bible. Uh, huh? okay. Women need to read the Bible. Yeah. They do Especially read the Bible. Especially once they get married. Yeah, that's facts. So. I'm surprised yeah, more women don't push back on the uh, we were just made out of ribs thing, though. Why? That sounds crazy. Well, we were made out of dirt. That's not much better. I'd rather be made out of ribs than dirt. Yeah, but think about all the things that grow from dirt. Like Nothing grows from ribs. Everything grows from dirt. Everything. Yeah. Strawberries. Everything come from is that. everything starts from dirt. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, nothing yeah. grows from palm ribs. Trees, also palm and what trees. if we're those two ribs that we don't need no more that Alex was just talking well, about? I still want my ribs. Yeah, I don't want I don't want, want to be growing bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you, my wife would be furious. If I just start planting ribs and then women are walking around my apartment. Yeah. That'd be a dangerous situation. And you can Charlie. suck your own dick now. It's like then, then yeah. how am I gonna get any work done? I'm so glad we yeah. can't do that. Suck our own dicks? That's crazy, yo. You can't play the flute? Nah, bro. That's wild. Like, I like masturbating, but sucking your own dick would be nuts, bro. What? You would much rather your dad catch you masturbating than trying to suck your nah, own dick. Bro. That's crazy. What would be even worse? You catching your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk in and you say, hey, you don't know what it's like being married. So judge me. Your mama don't do it no more. <laughs> bro. Imagine bro. walking in on your bro. dad bro. sucking his own dick. Yeah. Your mom just getting dressed like this, motherfucker. Yeah. Your dad call you a one-man gay slur. <laughs> What's oh. that? Whoa, what is Whoa. that? Wait, what's that? Huh? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what would yeah. that be? Yeah, you I'm gotta just go play, you you gotta play football with your dad. And be like, yeah, yeah, get over here. Yeah, I'm throwing you For around. For real? Now. My God, yeah. man. You got mad at me watching TV one time. You're over here sucking your own dick. That's actually the thing that's interesting. Jerking <laughs> off is not gay, but sucking your own dick feels gay. Jerking off and looking in the mirror is gay. Bro, <laughs> can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? That is. That's wild. Nah, bro. he's on to something. That's bro. wild, bro. He's on to something. You, are you bro. the like, scream narcissist or you are like gay? No, but for real, jerking <laughs> off in the mirror, that seems a little bit. That's wild, bro. You bugging. You bugging. You wilding Because you're just watching some dude jerk off. Nah, you, and, and by the way, if that's, if, I'm, not, I'm not against it, but it is wild. That's some like narcissistic. What about watching yourself have sex in the mirror? That's not, that's not gay. But you're watching a dude bang your wife. You are watching yourself have sex. I love mirrors when you're having sex, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why? I just do. Why? I, like, I, like, I, I don't know why. You yeah. just want to see a black dude fucking your wife? Yeah, that is. That I, just, is that. I, just, I just, I like it. That I, is. I, I like mirrors. I don't know why. A lot of people like it. I like mirrors. But is that because we have a cuckold fetish? We're like, who's that fucking my wife? Like, <laughs> no. It's a stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because I think you get to see angles. Uh, no. I'm not talking about it. But no. No. Do you think about no at all? Well, what about yes? Like, what if you disguise it? What if you disguise it? What if you just put like a mask on so you don't know it's you? Oh, <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Why is that crazy? That's wild. Like, why? So your wife can get some pleasure in life. Now, man. I, I can see, I can see, I can see, I can see white guys doing that with blackface. Ooh, 
you know what I'm saying? Can you blackface <laughs> cuck yourself? But you gotta do your Can own you body. Can you blackface and black dick? You go, you go bl all black everything. Yeah. You gotta put on one of them like Kanye outfits. Yeah. You, gotta, yeah. you gotta put on the skims, <laughs> and then you got fuck yourself. Yeah. You have sex with your wife, and then you have you got you got cucked. I can see you do Is that. Is that racist? Can you get a pass for that? What? If you do full body blackface and black dick just to give your wife pleasure from a black man in the mirror? First of all, if you did that, why would you tell anybody? If it got I'm leaked, not going to. why would it get? Who's going to tell? Black these face. black people be telling, bro. Who's going? These black people be snitching. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gonna. You know what I'm so while you're in blackface, yeah. you might snitch. Is that what you're saying? That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. Who's going to tell? White guy? Like nobody's going to tell. Like why would you say? Why would you tell anybody that? Nah, your wife's going to tell. Your wife might tell. tell. Friends yeah. and be like, why Yo. would she? She'd be like, oh, maybe you're divorced. Okay, y'all got divorced. Not even divorced. Brag and be like, I caught some black dick last night. She was crazy. They're like, what? Yeah, you cheated on your husband. Yeah, no, not exactly. Yeah, damn. Yeah. He just dressed up. I think it depends how racist the blackface is. Uh, like, you give himself super big lips or some shit, now whoa, it's like... That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. That's, 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 that's why even Ben Stiller not apologizing for Tropic Thunder. Like, I don't, want, I don't have an issue with that because I never looked at them as trying to be black. What? Keep, keep going. I never thought they were trying to be yeah. black in Tropic Thunder. I, I thought they just had either. tans. Yes, and... <laughs> I just, is that black? I, is, agree that. I thought blackface is when you're pretending to be black. That's what the original minstrel show were. That's what he's doing in the movie. He's, in the movie, he's, he's playing he's, a black man. He got surgery guy. to look black, and then he's acting black. I never saw Tropic Thunder. Oh. <laughs> never saw it. Clip it. <laughs> I never saw it. I never saw Tropic Thunder. You gotta see Thunder. a scene, man. Uh, I've never seen Tropic Thunder uh, in my life. It. I actually thought it was Robert Downey Jr. that had the. It was. It was. Ben Stiller's yeah. movie. He directed it and was oh. like, he might have wrote it. You're, you're, you're a genius, bro. <laughs> Your ability to have an incredibly passionate opinion about something you know nothing about. I had no idea. Is, is so he was pretending to be black. We got to probably be a method let, actor. Let's yeah. just watch Basically, it. Basically, yeah, the character is like, oh, I'm a just method actor. Just let him actor. watch it. Yeah. Can, we, can we go oh, to the beginning? Hold on, hold on. Bus retarded. Oh, go back. Now, see, go back. Because the, the, the handicapped people, y'all got to get in on this too now. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So, yo, the, I've never seen Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Tropic Thunder either, yeah, ever in my shit. life. The Ben Stiller character played a, a character that was fully retarded. Oh, that guy right there was supposed to be... No, 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 no. In, in another movie. movie. Okay. Like, that's the, the movie's about the making of a movie. Yeah. And they're making fun of all these Hollywood tropes, really, like how far actors will go to, like, get into character and take roles from people who should actually play them. Oh, so, this makes, so it makes sense for Robert Downey Jr. to be playing a black man exactly. in the movie. Yes. Yeah. But people are still upset just because he is in blackface. Even though they're making fun of an actor that would wear blackface. I, I you know, I don't, I don't, you know. But Ben Stiller was like, I'm not going to apologize for a movie anymore. Why would you apologize for a movie that, they was the, him to. that was the kind of movie that it's supposed to be? It's, it's like Django. Word, like, no one makes Leo to, like, apologize for saying that word. It's, it's like, a period yeah. piece. Yeah. And his, well, his tweet, he said, I'd never apologize for making the movie. I think he apologized one time because of the retard stuff, because Sean White... The snowboarder, I, I think, went oh, uh, as like a simple Jack character for Halloween, and then that was kind of offensive. So he just apologized and was like, "Yo, oh, no offense to Sean or whatever. I'll apologize to whoever was offended." But he never apologized for the blackface or even really the playing of that because it's the, it's all making fun of the industry, mm -hmm. not making fun of the people, the minorities. It's making fun of the industry. It's making fun of, of actors that would go this far to get an award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. never go full retard thing is making fun of like we want to see people who we think are mentally. Who look mentally challenged, but not really. Like they would never hire an actual autistic person to play those roles. Yeah. 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 I get it. Yeah, but people are still upset because they don't want to think about the whole context of it. And then he said, someone said, some guy tweeted him, like, you need to stop apologizing for this movie. I loved it. And then he responded, he's like, I never apologized for the movie. I'm very proud of it. And just to be clear, we were making fun of the actors, not the industry, basically, yeah. long and short of it. Yeah. I'm just glad that Robert Downey Jr. came up. Because he came a long way from that shit to be Iron Man, bro. Yeah. This is after Iron Man. Tropic Thunder is after yeah, Iron he Man? Said, really? No. He said on an interview, I had done Iron Man, and then this movie came, and I knew it was tricky, but I trusted Ben Stiller, something like I trusted his intention. I knew what he was trying to do. Yeah. So I was like, this could be fun. Let's do it. And he said in hindsight, I think he said something like in hindsight. I know he did Sherlock Holmes after Iron Man. Decision, but he, on his thing, he said, I had done the first Iron Man. There's a oh, quote no, of his. Oh, no, you're right. That shit came out a few months wow. after Iron Man. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, Iron Man. Yeah, May, awesome. May 2008 was Iron Man. Tropic Thunder was August 2008. That's ballsy, bro. Uh, I mean, not really. If the movie's already shot, and then they probably wasn't even thinking about putting Tropic Thunder out 
until they saw the success of Iron Man, they're like, shit, let's throw this shit out. Robert That's Downey the other Jr. thing. Back. Like, Iron Man is, it, they don't know it's going to be a mega success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, this yeah. is truly pre-cancel culture. Even though, like, you weren't supposed to do blackface, I think it was edgy, but people, I think, saw what he was trying to do back then. I don't then. think that's blackface, though. Well, no, this, no, 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 I, I lie, I lie. That right there is actually blackface. Yeah. Because he's pretending to be a black character. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff that they said was, when well, I'm lying, I was about to say stuff like, Chris Rock, when um, Fallon did Chris Rock, I don't know if that was, it, it, he's pretending to be Chris Rock, so I yeah. guess that is blackface, I guess. Uh, I guess, but I don't you're, know. you're referencing the minstrel show. Yeah, you're yeah, re yeah, referencing, yeah. And which is way different. Yeah. Than actually, than know. actually painting your skin black to look like a specific black person. I don't think you can win. Even if he didn't paint his skin black and still was pretending to be Chris Rock, I think he'd still get flat. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think I, I don't think so. If he if he like dressed like him and then did the accents or did the you know the act yeah. out and like did all Frank things, Caliendo fun. pretends to be Charles Barkley. People don't. He just does the voice. I think yeah. I don't think he does the face. Mm. I don't think. And so people aren't offended by it. Yeah. yeah, it's just like the like raw history with minstrel shows. Anytime someone puts black on their body, people just tense up and go, "Oh, that's bad." Yeah. Even though if it like doesn't perfectly logically make sense, it's just because it's yeah. attached to such a traumatic history. People are just like, "Don't yeah. touch it." Yeah. I get it. Even, yeah, even though those characters are trying to make fun of black people in general, right? Yeah, exactly. Whereas this is specifically being a black person or dressing up as Chris Rock as a black person or dressing up as Kobe and looking as a black person. When mm -hmm. Kimmel did Carl Malone. Kimmel did Carl Malone, But even right? with that, like, I, and that, that's, I was thinking about that one, but it's like, yo, was he actually trying to do blackface? No, he's trying to do Carl Malone. Carl face. Malone, you know which, what I mean? Which, which, look, there's the distinction. Like, if you're dressing up as, like, let's say, for example, you do a stereotypical black person outfit that isn't a person that we know. Yeah. That, to me, regardless if it's back in the day or now, you could be like, oh, this is blackface. You're just trying to use this as an opportunity to make fun of all the black stereotypes, right? Yeah. But if you're being Chris Rock or you're being Carl Malone or you're being something like that, you could show that there is a distinction there because you're going after one specific person, right? That being said, anybody triggered by blackface is going to be triggered by that as well. Yeah, technically it is blackface now that I think about well, it, though. It's all blackface. Yeah, it's blackface because you're, it's a white person pretending to be a black person. And that's yes. essentially what the minstrel show yeah. was. It was white well, no, it, actors it, But it wasn't, they weren't pretending on. to be black people. They were pretending to be the worst stereotypes yeah, yeah, of black yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, how yeah, they yeah, saw yeah, black yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Things are different, yeah. but they look similar. Yeah, so if, if you pretend to be the best stereotypes of a black person, is it still offensive? Depends. Mm. Depends. Like if you go as Oprah, is it offensive? You're going as a billionaire. What Oprah? Ooh. If you do 1900 Oprah, 1990s Oprah, and you put on like a fat suit, you know yeah. what I mean? And you know, you do your hair a certain way, that might come off kind of like, you know, you looking, you, you could look like you're making fun of her. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It just depends what Oprah. Mm. And do you have to do the black skin to be Oprah? Mm. You know? I mean, it kind of helps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, like is, Oprah is Oprah somebody that's defined by skin color? Is there a way to show people that I'm it Oprah? It clears it up. Like, if there's an Asian girl dressing as Oprah, it clears it up. Yeah, it, if, it, if you're a white girl dressing as Oprah, wait, it's just like a wig, yeah. you just kind of look like the nanny, I think. Yeah. I guess you would have to wear, like, a signature Oprah outfit. Like, you'd have to wear Oprah when she revealed how skinny she was for the first time. Yeah. With the black shirt, the jeans. Like, the, no, people that's remember like, that. If you wear J-Lo's outfit from the, the MTV Awards or the yeah. Grammys, whatever that one oh, was, yeah, that yeah, four, yeah, like, we're going to know you, J-Lo. Easy, easy, yeah. easy. Absolutely. Yeah, they need to bring back See, that boom. show with... Um, Oh, when she dressed like The Rock? <laughs> that's, no, for real. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. That's an iconic Oprah picture. You got to have the wagon with you. If you got the wagon with you, and the, Ooh. I guess that's how much weight she lost in yeah. the wagon. Exactly. So everybody's going to know. Yeah. You remember yeah, that, that show they used to swap the families? It was, right, that, that shit was crazy. That crazy. Was crazy. Different strokes? Oh. No, they no, were like black, bunch. They put white people in blackface. Yeah. And black people in whiteface. Oh, I don't remember that. And then the, the wife and husband, they would just swap and then live with the other family for oh, like I a week. Oh, wait, was those yeah, two you're talking different about a different shows? show. You're there was about a, different a show, show where they actually painted yeah, white black people black and black. white, mm -hmm. where like they make the families trade races and then live in societies of different races and then reflect on their experience. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Swap. And somebody, no, had a, different. somebody had a joke about this, so I, I forget what it was, but it, it, the conception was really funny because they're like, uh, of course the white people who have the black face on are like, man, it's so hard being black, like people look at you crazy and it's like, 
Yeah, because they're looking at you walk around the mall in blackface. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> they're not looking at you as a, a black regular person. black person. Word up, like, word what up. What fucking lunatic word is up. walking around? And, and nowadays, you got to think to yourself, okay, is that like war paint this person is wearing? Like, what is this guy about to do <laughs> yeah, yeah, in this happening? motherfucking mall? Like, for Call real. That's what I'm saying. Call you you really got to think about shit like that. <laughs> yeah. So why do y'all talk so long? <laughs> I'm just, I just want to know, like, I want to know, like, for like podcast purposes, like, what is it, like? It's you talk chilling. four and a half hours a day. Yeah, it's chilling, it's a lot bro. of breaks in between that. Though. Like, <laughs> you need a break, you need to go pee. No, I, I'm just saying, I want to know, like, what is there, like, an algorithm thing? Like, is there, a, like, we like, just, we just like hanging, man. Hanging, yeah, 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 We don't, yeah. you know, we don't have children. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we don't have uh, tons of businesses. That no, we have no, to I'm look just, I'm just asking. I'm just wondering, like, I'm like, what? Like, this is like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, I'm like... Because it's fun when you hang out with your friends yeah, and you're like, yeah, man, yeah, I gotta yeah. go home. Yeah. I, I y'all don't even break home. this up in parts? Y'all just put this shit out like this? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, just, y'all, just, y'all just drop this shit like two-hour extravaganza? Like, He's been waiting two hours to say this. Two yeah. hours? No, I, I didn't realize how long. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm looking at that clock. I'm like, is that how long we've been talking or is that the time? How long have we been talking? <laughs> About that time. Wait, what? Where, about hours? an hour fifty-five. No, Two twenty-five. Damn, bro. God damn, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they're gonna really think I'm on flagrant now. <laughs> 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 this is crazy. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay. Shout out to Mano too, man. Okay. See, this is why we go long. Yeah. Like, keep on bringing stuff up. What happened you know? with Mano? Mano choked out uh, a TikToker. Yeah. I just want to know. I don't. I don't see I, the video? I, oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It, no, it's really good. It's I'll, really good. I'll, hold on one second. This let is me, really let me get good. It, let me get it. You got to understand, and I could have, you know, Jay-Z had a line once, and he was like, I don't know why your advisors didn't forewarn you. This is why you need old men for counsel and young men for war, because I could have told that young man who not to play with. Mm. So this is a dude that, like, will antagonize people, like, on the street doing, like, a little thing. So here. First of all, right, let me let me put on your chain so I can see how I feel. I want to see how I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? To have on the this is when he should have stopped. See, I gave you, your time. Now you, you see how Mano put his hand on his shoulder? Pause that for a second, Mark. When Mano put his hand on his shoulder and gave him a little rub, like, yeah. hey, now you just chatting. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. letting him know. Yeah. Now it's time for you to relax. Because mm-hmm. now I got my guard up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next thing you do, I'm going to take it as a threat, yeah. and you're going to get choked the fuck out. And for whatever reason, why was this his next thing to say? This is crazy. 10, right? How badly, right? You think I can like beat your ass? No. Like why? <laughs> like why? First of all, why would you say that to anybody? But why would you say that to Mano? These young kids, man. You don't know it's, none of Mano's history, bro. bro. So this is a vertical video that someone posts on their story. It's like, it's not just with the video. Don't play with it. He just choke slammed him, just held him on the bar, and That's, just talked bro, to shit. It was crazy. Mano is an OG from Brooklyn. Mano did not survive 10 years in prison, survived the mean streets of the Brooklyn in, 19, in the 1900s to be playing with no TikToker YouTuber. Yeah. And why is your line, how fast do you think I could beat your ass? That's, that's a threat. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that I, either I've seen another kid do this or he does this, and it's the same kind of line. Stop yeah, exactly. doing that. You will yeah, get killed. Yeah, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad too. can I yeah. beat you up? You yeah. say it to me, I'd be like, nine. Don't do it to <laughs> nobody. Yo, yo, he could do that to a random person in a grocery well, this, store. This, this, this is what I like about what, what Mano did, is that <laughs> he knows the guy's not going to try to beat him up. He understands the jig. The jig is this a TikTok, right? But the point of the TikTok is to kind of make the person being interviewed look pussy. So he's mm. like, you're trying to make me look pussy, and you have it on video, so I have to demonstrate Let me tell you in something. some way I'm not pussy. Let me tell you something about Mano. And Mano is an evolved person. Yeah. He's evolved a lot. When I first moved up here in 2006, I learned quite quickly. How not pussy Mano was. It's not, it's, 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 that's yeah. not that you shouldn't even be saying those words in Mano in the same sense. I heard, yeah. I heard some okay. of those stories. Man. Mano, and, and, <laughs> and you know what Mano used to call it? And it's so funny because this is what he administered here. Discipline. Okay, what's the story? Yeah, that's what Mano yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah. Mano was like, I had to, he, he, if you'd be like, yo, Mano, fuck you up. No, no, no. I administered discipline. I love it. I <laughs> and love that's it. what he did just now. Are there stories you can tell or no? I mean, it's stuff that people know. I mean, Google it. Like, it's, it's not like, a lot of this stuff is not like hidden. Like, you can Google Mano slap such and such or Mano beat up such and such. Like, it's a million of them. Okay, like, you while, know, while Mark looks that up, has anybody tried to intimidate this you? This guy, Mano put rappers? Marine, I mean, Mark put Marine discipline. <laughs> 
I got the Charlemagne Google extension, okay? I just Googled it how you said it. No, this is a... Uh, so, yeah, there's like... Mano, I disciplined. Who did Trinidad say? James on DJ Vlag. He's like... Another one? What's the other yeah, one? Yeah, Young Berg, he missed being slapped by Mano. Mano uh, recalls... <laughs> yeah, he just like... He slaps everyone. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I could have told this guy that wasn't going to end well for you. You got to know who to play with. But I think this is the ending he wanted. Exactly. I don't believe that. Okay. I don't believe that, yo. I don't believe that. And if these are the endings y'all want, please remember, y'all not, this is not MTV jackass. Mm. Those guys were getting paid millions of dollars, mm -hmm. yeah. okay, mm. to put themselves in harm's way. Y'all yeah. doing this shit for some fucking likes yeah. and retweets? Yeah. Nah, bro. And you know what this also does? This shows, Mano done set the precedent now. Oh, Maynard yeah. set the precedent. Oh, so this is like the Will Smith thing. Maynard yeah. set the precedent. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Maynard set the precedent. Try to play me, you get Keep, choked. That's right. Mm. Now, I, now I gotta fuck one of you TikTokers and YouTubers up. Was hey. that considered self-defense, though? Absolutely self-defense. It was yeah. a threat. I mean, the guy goes, what happens if I beat your ass? Absolute threat. This is a different trend that happened a few years ago. I just want to bring it up, but it accidentally played super loud. This is a guy that would oh, go... Yeah, this oh, is this is hilarious. Fantastic. So this is similar. This is I, don't, I don't know if you've ever seen this, Charlotte. This, this is, is a guy so who would go and antagonize people and try to fight them in, in, the, in the hood. And, and this is what would happen. Just play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. This one right here. This, is just, this one is fire. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> this is the one, bro. This is the one, bro. That's hilarious, so, man. Can you pull up these guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is top man, that is funny YouTube. as shit. Idiots, top notch idiots. These kids are fucking crazy. They go up to people, they try to start some shit. Yeah, I see that. And then yeah. right before they about to get fucked up, then they tell them, yo, it's a prank. Man, that's it's a why prank. you gotta leave people so to fuck alone, yo. People have pulled out guns on you them. They to get pulled... checked. What the fuck you looking at, dog? That's why, though? What? Why do my fucking kids go like this when they want to fight? What you talk about, bro? bro? I'm so if you want to fucking scrap, my boy. Scrap, <laughs> boy. He brings out a scrapbook. Scrap book. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, well, I didn't know f getting into fights was that easy. I didn't know all you had to do is go to someone and say, hey, do you want to fight right now? And they'd be like, sure. <laughs> that's, not what, that's not what they're saying, though, Mark. Nah. The guy's like, I'll fuck you up. Boy, you want to get beat up? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just, but that's, that's different. I just than, didn't know it was that easy to fight. I had never really been in a fight someone. before. Yeah, it's that easy. You also have to pick the right people. I guess, yeah. You got to pick people that want to fight. downtown LA half the time. Yeah. You'll find people. But it's just insane. But I'm like, yeah, to this end, yeah, people want to pick fights and get reactions out of people for views. And views is the currency. So if I can go up to Mano and say some crazy shit just to get him to choke me out, we're talking about him. You're if, talking about him. If I'm Mano, I'm suing. Straight up. So for what? Emotional distress. <laughs> Because what's going to happen is that dude might try to jump out the window and do something, do a lawsuit on Mano. You think Mano's going to sue someone? Man, he needs to because that's the type of era we live in. Somebody will do some shit like that to you, get that reaction out and of you, sue you, and then sue you. I think we're going to get to the point where you need us to sign or whatever the fuck to do these videos. Mm. I thought you had to do that now. Like, all the, everybody on this video can sue those guys. I don't, they can. Everybody on this video can yeah. sue if they didn't get permission to put them out I, there. I think at the end they tell them, they're like, oh, you're on camera, you're on camera. Is it cool to put you on camera? That's, uh, I think, I guess. Yeah. I think they get a very You do have to get some permission. Some of these people seem like they would not be cool with it. Yeah. After the prank is done, that and then they lie. Right there. Yeah, that was bro, you so, that shit look wild. Nah, Did they just say, give me your bone? Wow, bro. <laughs> so it's wild. Oh, give me your phone, blood. Okay. All right, look. Um, that's the episode. <laughs> as, all, <laughs> as always. As always. <laughs> if you listen to this podcast. <laughs> should, we, should we announce our upcoming podcast, Charlie? Oh, yeah. You guys should do something. Oh, yeah. Man. We got to do the press release soon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll wait for the press release for that. Oh, Drake and Yachty. We didn't talk about Drake oh, and Yachty. Oh, yeah, but you didn't watch the... Yo, Drake and Yachty have a great it. conversation. Great. Okay. I'll be honest. I saw the clips, too. But <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have a great... This is great conversation. They do the yeah. podcast. Yeah. And there's two friends talking mm -hmm. and like two friends who've had incredible success in their careers reflecting on their success reflecting on therapy reflecting on like how they yeah. see themselves they're at different generations too which is kind of cool like yeah. the way they talk yo about. that was the first it time it was fucking awesome that was the first time Drake's been called old yeah hilarious <laughs> he's been yeah, thinking yeah. it yeah he's probably been thinking it you know which is probably the reason for a lot of his moves lately but when Yachty said that to him he had, oh. to, he had to ask like yo how old are you yeah yeah, yeah. And Yachty was like I was 25 and he was like he had to think about that shit. Like, yeah. like he said, Yachty's I think, only 25. 25. Yeah. I, there's yeah. a moment, and I think it was when Yachty called him over. Drake's talking, and then he 
he says, I'm like, I'm 36 now, whatever. And the guy goes, damn, that's old. And Drake stops mid-sentence and goes, ah. And you could tell that shit. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, fuck. Yo, Drake, welcome to my world, my boy. Okay? <laughs> that, that's going to be you for the rest of your career. You yeah. are the elder statesman now. You and are the OG. He says the same shit I say when they kill, when people call me old. I'm like, you can get old. Just wait. I can't wait till you get old. It's the it's truth. Like a, and, and, such and, and, an old and, comeback. But it was so funny because Drake started going like, I'm going to still be in shape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still be getting fly. He I'm was, like, oh, hurt. shit, that shit hurt him. Yeah. Like, that shit cut him deep. Yeah, but yeah, I enjoy. I, I mean, I enjoyed the clips of the convo that I How saw. How old is Drake? Thirty-five. So I think six, that's six, when you start to realize your mortality a little bit. He's got a kid. His kid is now older, and he's like having like yeah. a real relationship with him. Yeah. yeah. Once you're on the, once you pass that, that thirty-five is really the forty threshold. You know what I mean? Like Drake one, really fifty and rap he is, bro. <laughs> what you mean? Because oh. he's been around the past decade. Oh yeah. yeah. Like real. Drake has given us so no, much stop. music. Like real. there's nothing like when Drake. I, I, Envy was saying the other day that he wants Drake to drop one more album before he retires, like a rap album. I'm like, yeah. what more can he do? No, he can't do anything. He's it's given us. He's, yeah. he's done everything, every yeah. genre of music. Yeah. Like outsold everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the the stuff that I think that he can do. Because I don't think that we've had this type of intimacy with Drake. So it's like Drake has been super vulnerable in the lyrics, but still contained to a song, right? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. was really cool to see somebody say, yo, are you old? And then him react mm. and keep that yeah. shit in the and keep it in the podcast or keep it in the show. I think Drake has a lot that he wants to say that for whatever whatever reason he's not able to convey it through music. Because he's been doing this lately. Mm. You know, he did this interview with Yachty, then a couple... He did it with Caleb Presley as well. That's who that was when Sunday he was sitting outside. Yeah, it's no, just, was it outside? Of, with, it with was him somebody and, I saw him sitting him out. Oh, son. no, he did Caleb Presley, but then he yeah. did another one where he was just, like, sitting outside somewhere. Like Oh, that was, like, a live stream or something. Yeah, yeah. he's been doing this more and more. Good. Yeah, because before often. that was just the rap radar yeah. thing that yeah. he did. That was it. But it's good. Reflect. Like, I love to see it, and I love to see people... And maybe there's some self-interest in it because you're looking at people who have had success, and, and if they're being reflected, on their success and how it's changed their life and how it's changed their relationships and all these things. It's, it's cool to know what they're thinking in their positions, yeah. right? Because you're always aspiring to be there, but you also want to know what the problems are when you go there. So, you know, selfishly, it was really cool, but you don't get to see uber successful people reflect that often. Mm -hmm. it, it, maybe you get an interview on The Breakfast Club where you can, like, really open them up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but, like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, oftentimes, how often do we see it? Like, I like it, but I still think it's too young for them to be reflecting. Like, even when Billboard did that list, when Billboard had like Kendrick Lamar as the number two greatest rapper of all yeah, time, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. think Drake was like top ten. I'm like, yo, it's too early for all that. Mm. It's too well, early to have the Drakes and the Kendricks in the top tens of all that's, time. That's you just business. said he was fifty in rap years. Yeah, but I, I, I think when it comes to greatest of all time, you have to do at least fifteen to twenty years. But that's business. What I'm saying is I want to know about how, how, how life experience has impacted you. To me, yeah, that's the yeah, most interesting. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 he yeah. said an interesting thing when he was talking about the therapy shit, and, and he's basically talking about like how he got big titties. I understood that and reference. And that makes oh. sense. And it's cool to see like the therapist put it in, in a way for her to completely relate. You think that the girl, this bad girl that you're with, got the big titties, everybody's looking at her? No. The reason Drake They're sounds, looking at your ass in the room. The reason Drake sounds crazy repeating that is because when your therapist tells you things, mm -hmm. therapist is telling you things, he's telling you things, or she is telling you things for you to yeah, understand. In confidence. You know what I mean? You. So whatever that reference that uh, his therapist told him yeah. was for him. Yeah. It sounds crazy to us, but she sat with him enough to know how to talk to him and to connect with him and to get him to understand what it is that she's saying. So to us, when he's repeating like, you know, that's why I can relate to women with big titties and, yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. feel like a pair of titties in the room. It sounds crazy to us, but that is a conversation that his therapist... Yeah, not to me, sound, but yeah. you go to therapy. But I do love this idea that, like, she tried to communicate it in a bunch of other ways. Yeah. And, and he probably was, didn't get it. She was probably like, yeah. it's titties, bro. You got Word double titties. Yeah. Like, everybody yes. look at your fucking titties. titties. Like... I go to therapy, you go to therapy, we understand that therapy talk. I yeah. get what that the therapist connected with him on a level, and yeah. now he's trying to relate to it to people, but they're probably looking at him like, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. He's talking about titties with his therapist? <laughs> yes. Yeah. A good therapist should meet you where you are. Yeah. Yeah. To take yeah. you where she, he or she needs you to go. Yeah. I think so anyway. Yeah, no, it was just cool. It's a, a rare conversation. Say what? No, I said I need a better therapist. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not, not, yeah. Get Drake yeah. money. You can pay for a great yeah. therapy. Yeah. Need some big references? No. Titties. Oh. So, Charlotte, you want me, bro. <laughs> what? So you gotta you gotta bleach a little bit more. Men have titties <laughs> now too, by the way. I just want you to know that. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? Men have titties. 
Yeah, of course man, I have. Man, yeah, you can get you, get you a titty. You can get you a titty dick combo if you want it. Hell yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you acknowledge that yeah. finally. No, I'm just letting Alex know that there's other stuff on the menu. Uh, you know, he knows? You know? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you don't think he knows that? Yeah. He works at Cheesecake Factory. Look at his outfit. Oh, you don't yeah, think yeah, he knows yeah, about yeah, the yeah. menu? 100%. 100%. <laughs> so, he know that not so secret menu. <laughs> <laughs> that not the so off -menu secret item? menu. <laughs> nah, the two of you, y'all can clown looks because y'all have aged and got younger. And I don't know what it is. This is a secret. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That was good. That was good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm out of fuck with you. I'm so bad. You just made me feel bad about making jokes about you, bro. Nah, but you do got to re-up on the Botox, though. I got to get my Botox in. Your emotions are starting to show, bro. I've been hearing that, though. You know what's so crazy? I've been hearing that a lot, and it's wild. I'm like, what? Nigga, you got Botox. Stop it. I never got Botox. I do chemical pills and stuff. You are a I will tell you if I got Botox. Frown. Huh? Frown. No, he got he got the line. <laughs> exactly. He got the lines. He you got, got Botox. Lines. You are a liar. <laughs> no, you don't have a lines. single line on your forehead, no, bro. What are you talking about? I have a big ass frown vein again, right here. Again. No, you got a whole Son, fucking dorsal fin right here, dude. Yeah, you got no, it. No, you got Botox, bro. You, I've never got There's Botox. There's nothing wrong with Botox, bro. Nah, nah, I will tell y'all if I got nah, Botox. I have Botox. lines right here. Have, no, he I've gotten got a chemical. No I get, I get chemical pills. I'm overdue for a chemical pill. I've never gotten Botox, though. Cat. I would tell y'all. Not his cat. I've never gotten Botox. I've gotten Lies. chemical pills. Why? But you, you've got Botox before. Yeah, so I got it for the sweating, but then I went to All get a right. console. You can get Botox for sweating? Yeah. Yeah, like, they put in your armpits, right? Yeah, here and in my face. But like, just like, I'd have been right got that shit. It doesn't stop you from sweating. It just stops the sweat from coming out of those pores. Yeah. That's so, kind of wild, And bro. it wears you just off after else. like three, four months, yeah. and then you have to keep doing it. I was like, fuck it. That's why the seats in WTF be wet. That's where the sweat be coming from. <laughs> you be them sitting on them shit. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I didn't know that shit. So yeah. where does the sweat come out of? I mean, it just doesn't come out. What? No, no, it has That's to not come healthy, out. Alex. You, you need to. I adjust mean, well, the you just sweat a lot less. Like you just the, the place nah, that they I don't put want it, that. you just don't see it as much. Because the sweat helps you. The yeah. sweat helps you detox. You're supposed to sweat. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I why I don't, don't do that. antiperspirant. I don't believe in that shit. Yeah, you, your body needs to sweat. If you're sweating, it's yeah. gotta come out. Well, he doesn't do deodorant either. But yeah, deodorant. I don't even believe in deodorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you gotta. You need it. Nah, you musty. Yeah, yeah, I'm musty. He's one of those that they don't shower every other day. Like they shower like. I shower every other day. Yeah, there you go. That's wild, man. Then you don't shower every day. You got bro. that right. <laughs> Technically. Okay, listen, we have to stop this podcast. This shit has yeah. been going on a long been fucking been time, a long, bro. Long time, Charlamagne bro. keeps talking. This bro. shit is wild, know, bro. You keep wanting to talk yeah. about different topics. And this shit is wild. <laughs> yeah. So, listen, I'm be honest with you, man. This talk. might be the brilliant latest episode this week, too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. I don't know what the fuck we could possibly talk about, bro. Dude, that's the thing, man. What do you mean? You, you come in here, you're like, yo, I want to call Michael B. Jordan corny for the first yeah. 30 minutes. I would minutes. never do that, ever. Charlamagne. I, I like Michael B. Jordan. Charlamagne. I love Michael B. Jordan and his love of white women. Oh, why do I keep putting that on him, bro? What? Yo, can't he just be great? Love is love. He is great. Love is love. Yeah, I'm excited to see Creed 3, personally. Creed is good? great. It's great. I'm not even... Creed is real. Creed, I'm not even, Creed is great. I thoroughly enjoyed Creed. I saw it a couple weeks ago. Like, it's a good movie. Like, it's, it's him, actually a great movie. I liked him in Black Panther when he pretended he was attracted to black women. I thought that was cool. He had no love interest in that movie. Oh, shit. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. No, he did. Okay, auntie. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's he crazy. didn't say, okay, auntie. <laughs> That's he said, okay, he auntie. He had no love interest in that That's movie, bro. What are you bro. talking about? The, um, the girl, when they were stealing the artifact in the beginning. You talking about he Alex? He killed her! Hero, bro. I mean, but he still kissed her. He killed... The what? The black woman <laughs> shot her. He sent her to the, to the ancestral yeah. realm or whatever. Like, like, yeah. What did he send her? He sent her to her grandma. Heaven, bro. He goes yeah. her grandma. Yo, oh, man. I gotta talk out. about that. Yo. That's funny as hell, Michael B. That's Jordan. funny. It was a white girl. So he's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a casting adjustment that I'd like to make. Listen, all you have to do is shake my hand, Michael oh, B. Listen, man. man. What is that? <laughs> what are we talking That's about? So nah, Michael, is Michael B. Jordan is a great human. He's a great guy. He really is. And there's nothing wrong with white women, bro. You hate on white women? No, there's nothing wrong with white women. I just I like to see black men with black women. That's all. And I like to see black women with black men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't mind interracial relationships. I just I have that preference. I like I like to see black love. I think black love is revolutionary. But I don't knock anybody who you know chooses to be in interracial relationships. It is it is the greatest form of revolution. Black love, right? Absolutely. Especially being you see how they've tried to break up the black family over Increase the years. Increase the numbers. Of the revolution. Come on, man. And by the way, other other uh, races feel that way. Exactly. Well, I, I still like brown love. Yeah. 
That's but me. they're racist. But no, no, that's not. I don't think they're that's racist. racist. They're racist. They're I don't think that's racist, yo. I don't think that's racist, yo. I don't think that's racist. They're racist. I don't think so. Jewish people do it. Asian people do it. I know he wouldn't, and I don't mind that he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I no, but I, but I, liberal great. white women are the worst to me. That's a, the most dangerous group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, why? What's you doing up there? Who? What was this little <laughs> son? <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, son. Oh, man. He said liberal white <laughs> women. So I, decided to, I decided to become one real quick. What do you mean, Akash? <laughs> there it is. That's the danger. That's the danger. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> well, maybe Michael B. Jordan is just keeping his enemies closer. Ooh, Ooh. smart. But it is. But it is a thing. A race thing, right? Like y'all want. Indians to be with other Indians. A lot of Indians I know, well, like a lot of Indian dudes are like, dude, I want a white woman so badly. I'll pass. Really? On. I've heard Indian guys say, I'll pass on a bad Indian girl to be with a mediocre white girl. Whoa. Sellouts, bro. And that, that, Sellouts, when I hear bro. shit like that, I, it was important to me. Sellouts, to bro. To but you wouldn't marry a black girl, though? I would only marry an Indian. Oh. What so Akash so said what, is real. Wait, 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 hold on. What's, no, time out. What hold on. what's another way of saying that? No, no. What Akash said is real, bro. What's another way of saying that? I wouldn't right. marry anyone who wasn't Indian. But, 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 so one so way of saying that is. There was a bad black girl that was like, oh, gosh, I would love to marry But you did it because of the hate that your own <laughs> people was, were was, showing strong, towards bro. Indian women. Say what? You did it because of the hate. I'm listening to Sean, man. I can't hear you. But ask him if he would marry a black girl or a Jew girl. I know he wouldn't, and I don't mind that. Thank you, Sean. But you said. You, you did it because of the hate that your people were showing towards yes, your women. Yes, I don't like self-hatred. I'm with that. I don't that. like that. That's I'm my with least you. favorite thing. I'm with so you. So if I can show a different example, that's important. I'm with you. And so I, I, don't, I don't have any problem with black men who date white women or vice versa as long as those black people aren't shitting on black people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? As long as like, oh, white, I, I married a white woman because a white woman's better. Or I married a, oh. a, 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 a white man because a white man got his shit together. Like uh, that and uh, people that are like super pro-black but sleep white, I'm like, okay. You got to okay. be in the middle somewhere. Yeah, I gotta, yeah I'm, I'm looking at now, I'm watching if, you. If you're super pro-black but you sleep white, can you not talk about being pro-black? You can, but it's just, uh, I'm just looking at you a little bit like, eh. Mm. I kind of feel that way too. You know what I mean? So they just got to be silent. silent. If you wanted to grow the numbers, wouldn't it be better to interracial date? Because now you have two black people making mm. more black people. You take a set. white baby, turn it black. Yeah. Mm. You grow the numbers a lot faster. Mm. I don't you grow the numbers at the same speed, but you... Uh, no, faster. No, no. You just take away the opportunity for... You, you grow the percentage higher. You lower the percentage of white people. Exactly. So your uh, numbers, you can only oh, make as many true. babies as you make. You just lower the percentage. But he's saying like a black girl and a black guy can go have a baby Alex with a white people, and then that's two. But if they have one together, then it's just you one. Want, yeah. Alex, if you want to marry a white no, woman, no, say no, no, it. No, no, no. If it's you want to marry right. a white woman, just say no, you want to marry a white woman. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Watch. Yo, interracial marriage is the greatest act of revolution. Yeah. You want to marry a white woman? That's a good-ass point, bro. You got a black girlfriend? No, no, no. Oh. But I'm just an ally. <laughs> yeah. I just love seeing He supports interracial. you doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, fine I'm, with I'm married yeah, yeah, yeah. to a black woman. That's what's I up. married a black woman. Most of my critics did not. Michael. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's Killer Mike. That's Michael Render. Killer Mike made that statement up, but I support it wholeheartedly. Mm. Interesting. I agree. I agree with that. Absolutely. Interesting. Now, if, if, can we do a hypothetical? Okay. Okay. If you were given a hall pass, Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a hall pass, it couldn't be a black woman because that's your love, that's your passion. Too close. Mm -hmm. It's too yeah. close. Your wife is like, I can't let you be with another black woman. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It is another race. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Why would it be Latina? That's it. Is there. Because the Wu Tang. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Wu Tang said butter pecan reek and chocolate deluxe. So oh. yeah, I would go get me a butter pecan reek and yeah. Now, is there one? Is there a specific one throughout history or even a cartoon? He's been flirting with me all day. Bro, Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans, bro. Puerto Rican cartoons. Yeah. Look at this guy right here. That's not Come a Puerto Rican to you. He's got the I look like Bad Bunny <laughs> right now. Right now. Don't disrespect Bad Bunny like that. What you oh, talking that's about? That's what you're going for. <laughs> no. Silly rabbit. Silly rabbit's going for Bad Bunny. This guy is crazy. This is what he's going for, Bad Bunny. <laughs> we finally found it, bro. That's that is crazy. That is crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm better looking than Bad Bunny. I'm way better looking than Bad Bunny. Uh, why, way. Way. Way better looking than Bad Bunny. Way is crazy. Son, way I think better. you're better looking. Son. And now he's with Kendall. Come on, bro. Kendall who? Jenna. Oh. 
Yeah, like, come on, bro. Let's see. Let's see Al versus Bad Bunny. Yo, I swear y'all was ending this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got... Now Bad Bunny handsome, yo. Bad Bunny handsome. Bad Bunny, Bunny kind of handsome, yo. Nah, I got it. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's doing the Charlemagne. Yeah, that's the Charlemagne the right Char there. Yo, pull up Charlemagne. He opened the dream by the, <laughs> uh, uh, one of his old oh, homies, bro. He's laying on his stomach like that. That's Bad Bunny? That's Bad Bunny. Yeah. Why does his tan look like that? What? Why well, is like he, he's a he's a human being that wears pants usually. But he's naked. Shouldn't the whole thing be toasted cheeks? Uh, Charlotte did it first. What's that one? That's Sorry. not me. That is not me. Yes, oh, oh, oh. That picture was crazy. Don't go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> this is jerking off in the mirror, bro. No, this that's is jerking yo, off in the mirror. Yo, Charlotte. Don't jerk off. Oh, in somebody the mirror. just tweeted this. They still tweeting this picture? Yes. I just tweeted it. Yes. Somebody said, what's going on with Charlotte? Hold on. This is how you get in the Illuminati the right here. See, while I'm eating my motherfucking cereal, Charlemagne. <laughs> Someone about to get photoshopped onto that Charlemagne pic. Is Why they think that's me, yo? Right, come on, I don't son. know. That's crazy. I, mean, I don't come know how they think that's you. Those cheeks are nuts. <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> yo, you are yo, built right. I know. Bro. That cheeks you are always crazy, talk about you got a, yo. No, uh, you're built right. Yeah. Now nah, my ass ain't that fat. That's nuts. No, that is that is that's wild. Yo, bad bunny toast your cheeks, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that pic looks wow. crazy. <laughs> like you gotta get those cheeks a little toasted, man. <laughs> nah, he does. That shit looks nuts. Bro. He does. But go back to you though. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, this is. Uh, How you got blackface on your body, but then you got the white ass? <laughs> Who? Bad Bunny. Oh, well, I thought we were talking about you. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Like you arcing, bro. I've seen that yeah, picture like... so many times, and I'm like, I, at yes, first I thought it was a it. joke. <laughs> Every morning, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I thought it was a joke. Like, people really believe that's me. Yo. I never realized how dark your ankles are. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Look how dark your ankles are. I'm going to be honest bro. with you. I think that's Photoshop, yo. What? You, wait, what? I don't think that's you really been, his shit. He looks like a capping. minotaur, bro. Oh, Why are you speaking in third person? I know. Like, <laughs> You've been capping all day, son. <laughs> Alex it? over there bricked up, bro. <laughs> Stand up right now, Alex. Son, I can't. I can't. You've been flirting with me all day. I Alex see this. I'm like, God for real, damn. yo. Dude, Zoom God. in on Alex's crotch. I'm not going to blame him, bro. This, I mean, this son, is ridiculous, How can you not bro. be, bro? That is ridiculous, dude. You know, Arch, come on now. Yo, as always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> you think you're smart, you think we're flagrant, <laughs> whatever the fuck, yo. Peace! <laughs>